Cause you don't own the rights to that music. So we can't use it. And that's stupid. Cause we don't own the rights to the music. That mean we can't use it. Well, that was stupid, then why the fuck they make it? I don't want their credit like somebody gonna take it. I need to play the song. That's why the fuck they make it. But put it on the internet and everybody getting paid from the streams. So you can't use that shit if you didn't make it. <laughs> nah, but for real though, you can't use that shit. Nah, I think it's trying to monetize, man. Stop playing. Come on, man. Hold up, bro. Turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit. Just a little bit more. Because I want them to hear this player ass shit I'm about to say. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you I was coming back like scoliosis, nigga. <laughs> now, you may look around and say, Lo, who, who you got in the trap with you today? Bro, I got my real partner in here with me today. Smoke yours crew in here with me today. Black Jesus in here with me today. The nigga from Grand Theft Auto yeah. <laughs> with me today. You know him and you love him. My man, Swank Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. Smoke yours, man. Thank you. I'm so happy to finally be in this motherfucker, Carlos. I've been don't wanting act, to... Wait, don't act like you ain't been on here, bro. I'm you... not, I ain't kept this motherfucker. I ain't never been to get here. The trap. I ain't been in the trap yet, nigga. I'm so happy to be in this motherfucker, Carlos. Shit, I'm so happy to be in here, nigga. Oh, shit. Make yourself at Yeah, what's happening, my nigga? What's happening, Lowe? Here. It's cold as a motherfucker in Atlanta, nigga. I'm layered up, nigga. I got on motherfucking Long John's leg warmers and a condom. Nigga, it's cold as fuck. Bruh, you at the house, man. Do your, do your motherfucking thing, bruh. Yeah, I hate, I hate DC them not here for this shit, but hell, the way you kicking it, I'm glad they not here. <laughs> Clearly, you got the shit you wanted to talk about and discuss. Man, I do, man, I do. What's been up, bro? How you been surviving this pandemic ass shit? <coughs> oh shit, I was spamming cornflakes. Mm. You know, just trying to make my way. What my what my California niggas been up to, man? Shout out to the whole Smoke Yours crew. Yeah. People been hitting me trying to tell me to get you on here. I was like, nigga, they he gotta come. I'm so happy to be here too. I've been trying to get here. You know, I got you know. You know, the way baby mama's working, shit, it'd be kind of tough. You know what I'm saying? Her back kind of big, so just trying to get past her. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. I, I completely understand. Because if don't nobody know, I know. Man. Shit. Mm -hmm. See, Valentine's Day and shit coming up. We got some Valentine's cards on the ass this year. You remember Valentine's Day in school? You get a little bag of motherfucking Valentine's from people who you don't even like? Mm hmm Whole bunch of little candies and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, the marketing department acted a fool on this one. That's what's up, because we, you know, I'm sure it's about love. I'm, I'm all about love, you know what I'm saying? Let's love. You know what we said when we made these Valentine's cards? Chico got one over there, DC got one. We Everybody got one. We just said, fuck it. It's better than nothing. A lot of motherfuckers been getting nothing for the moment. Man, look here. I fucked with this bitch one time. She had to be about 29 years old. She said she never got a Valentine's gift in her life. For real? Yes. What you get her? Nothing. <laughs> You ain't want to mess up the street. <laughs> I don't want to be the one. <coughs> I can't pop her Valentine's cherry. Word. That's Kush Rona, too. Yeah. Because you was fucking with me earlier. That's Kush Rona, nigga. Hey, man. Niggas was coughing before Corona, nigga. Mm. So, relax. <laughs> Get my guy. <laughs> Then nigga Carlos was finna put me out quick. Nigga, he had security over me, shit. The yeah. cross eyed motherfuckers dragged me out. Cause rules is rules, my nigga. You get two coughs in a throat clip. Is it? Well, shit, you know, this some good, nice premium weed you smoking with me. I appreciate it, man. Nothing but the best. Yeah, I love it. I you knew know? we was having company. I was like, you know what? My brothers and them not here. Let me at least go get some good weed. It's always the best so one. I went yours. straight in my living room to my stash. Cause I ain't have to go nowhere to get it. Mm, I love it. I love it. Where you stay at? In Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I stay in Atlanta, man. 
<laughs> nah, man, I'm just so happy to be here, man. This shit is legendary. I'm so proud nah, of your motherfucking bro, ass. We, we talk shit because we really partners, but it's it's an honor for you to be here, nigga. You the yeah. Grand Theft Auto, nigga. Mm. Like, nigga, you know how many times I almost called you when I was like, nigga, tell me how to beat this shit. <laughs> 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 Them Grove Street niggas was on there on my ass, nigga. nigga my X, whole X, gang turned on me, nigga. XX right trigger, nigga. Bro, you be getting it. Bro, so you on the new shit? When the new shit come out? Shit, We're waiting my, on six like a motherfucker, man, bro. Man, I don't know shit about that. Rockstar don't tell me shit. They don't talk to me. Motherfuckers be asking me all the time, my nigga, but I don't know. Is it a real company or is it just like three rich-ass white boys? A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt it was like some young ass white dudes with a whole bunch of money. It was like, man, when the new Grand Theft Auto coming out? Man, they, I don't think they that young, but they got a whole bunch of money and shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfucking money. I think they, they from Ireland or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Rich as a motherfucker. Word. Call me. Bro, you know what I miss for real though? Some legendary shit. Mm. The Super Rumble Mix Show. Sipping on, man. You sipping water and haterade, my nigga. Come on, man. Cut that shit out, man. Don't you know we like fine grapes? <laughs> get some of that. There you go. Ungrateful ass niggas. Every time. I don't get your attention with just love and kindness. Nigga gotta come through with yak and herb, huh? Like that, my nigga? You gotta have a little BET going on, some holes, a little booty bouncing and shit, my nigga. That's the only way to get you niggas' attention, my nigga. Yeah, man. That was the precursor to a lot of shit for me, man. And I had a lot of fun doing that, you know. And that's early in the game. And you know, Carlos, by now we both done done enough shit where you know, we done, it's a lot of shit motherfuckers done that will never see the light of day. You know what I'm saying? But like at the beginning, you be kind of hoping like you, you like now you got a condition to it. It might make it. It might not. But at first I was hoping Super Rumble Mix Show was supposed to be a whole, you know, TV show joint. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't work out that way. But, you know, the way it worked out was cool for me. So I'm thankful for that. How that shit come about, bro? Because that led to a lot of other shit for a lot of other people. Man, that was Aaron Magruder. I, I got a partner that uh, by the name of Jason Van Veen, he introduced me to Aaron Magruder. And uh, Aaron kind of took to, you know, he thought I was real niggerish and, and he liked that. You know what I'm saying? I wonder why he thought that. Mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I ain't that niggerish. I would dump it on the floor if I was that niggerish. This the trap. No, no, this is nice. You don't watch this shit? This DC a, has done a lot worse. This is nice. Well, this is his shit to do it. You know, you come over, you come over company house, you be nice. Right. You just don't be coming like, over there I, I, doing shit. Right. <laughs> Laying all on people, mm. spinning shit. I don't expect nothing less, though. You that type of nigga. You gotta, you gotta do it, man. I'm saying you put these in shoes right here. You come home, that's how the niggas know their mama got a boyfriend when they see this. <laughs> <laughs> the blue motherfucking loafers. The Stacey's hood? What's up with y'all, man? This shit is nice. I love this, man. Where the refrigerator at? It's, it's around the corner back there. Y'all ain't got no real craft services. This is no, really a trap. we got a refrigerator right here, nigga. What's in that man? motherfucker? What you want? It's some um, water in there, bitch. Nigga, give me some of that shit. Nigga, little parts and shit. Go ahead, bro. Nigga, lips too big to be over here dry. Sprinkle yourself, my nigga. I'm sorry. Hey, pause. <laughs> <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the fuck, bro? Man, we chilling, man. I just fucking love this but you shit. You always have dressed like a good ass stepdad, and they got yeah. slacks on. I'm yeah, trying to. I'm trying to change my image. I just had a birthday. You know what I'm saying? I just yeah. had a birthday, man. And I'm down here celebrating all week. For real? Mm-hmm. That's dope. I'm man. looking for all the cougar clubs. You know what I'm talking about? Go to Walmart. Oh yes. I'm looking Walmart, for Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. That's where the grown women be at around here. I'm looking for a nice grown. Caucasoid Snow Princess. No, not yeah. on this show. No, I just want some money. They don't even watch this shit. They watch this shit. I promise you they don't. I know four of them that do. Oh, you should have just, you should have just hollered at them four. I what? did. You don't like, what happened? I need four more. What's up with California niggas and white women? Nah, you know, I just be talking shit, man. First of all, you know, before we go, before we go that tangent, y'all get on YouTube, be talking about slate love the buddies. You do though. Nah, bitch, I you just like touching what? on them sometimes. But I love my sisters. All my kids is black, nigga. 
All of them. All of them. And all my baby mamas is black. All of them. That's that's real black of you. Mm-hmm. You proud? Yeah, because you like you stood on it. I'm proud of that shit. I had I have black babies after TV. Mm. Yeah, he did. You saw that? Oh yeah, he told that bitch head off. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Cause you remember Snoop caught a lot of backlash for calling uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that lady, she didn't have to say that shit. That white lady attacked LeBron James and didn't nobody do nothing. Who gonna protect black men? Mm-hmm. She could have ruined that man's career right there. Right there. All she would have had to do was start crying and LeBron James would have been the villain. Oh, that shit is fucked up, man. My motherfucker turns my probation and say I can't be within 100 feet of crying white women. Man, what? <laughs> Bro, I don't want to be nowhere any white women are crying at. No, that's that's why something, you, something gonna happen. That's why you don't make them cry, you know what I'm saying? You, they, you don't have to make them cry. They cry, they just cry, and they face turn red. Yeah. I just wanted everybody to have a good time for my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just look at everybody and they look like they're not having fun. I just try to sell them. <laughs> yeah, that's them real white. Yeah, I get, guess I've been fucking with them fake white, them black white bitches. See, that's you could do that if you the first black dude that she ever messed with. But like you fuck you around with a white girl and all her boyfriends be black. She thinks she know too goddamn much. Mm-mm. And the bitch dangerous. Mm-mm, I don't like this. Bitch got the little neck tattoo and shit. No, I don't like them. I don't like you them. You ain't never seen no white girl at Waffle House at two in the morning. I don't care. I don't care. I'm like this bitch sound like somebody <laughs> auntie for real. Yeah. I don't know what that white lady been through, but niggas done ran her ass through there. When they got the permanent black lady voice. <coughs> oh, she's done by that time. What's up, like? What's up, little buddy? You ain't like you don't fuck with me like that. Mm. I don't. <laughs> she's done. Why not? Cause you sound like the weed man. <laughs> 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 Bro, we got a cloud in this bitch. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. You see that? <laughs> Smoke yours, eh? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Shit is cool, Carlos, man. I love this shit. I like your little t-shirt. I want some of that merch right there. I like it. Bro, we got you some. I like that shit. We got some of your merch. Yeah, that's for you right there. That's for you right there. You know, I only wore it once. Shout out to that nigga Delore. Yeah, my nigga D. Lord James couldn't be with us today, man. I told that motherfucker he, said he, he missed was the coming. flight. He was hyped, too. He missed the flight. The and nigga's shout done. Shout out to Teddy Ray. You already know. How this nigga, how this nigga D. Lord gonna miss the flight, man? He gonna act like he don't know where the hell is. I bet you thousand dollars he was high. He was. And thought that it was at another time, and it really wasn't. That's my nigga though, Teddy too. Teddy was supposed to be here, man. I talked to him on the way. He said, "What's up?" I fuck with that nigga, bro. That nigga be. had a clip so goddamn funny. It's so funny. I'ma send it to Joe so he can put that bitch in the in this episode. Cause nigga, that one I posted on Twitter. What his nigga was like, God, why you give me this eczema? Eczema. Lord, why my back wide? Lord, why these titties sit the way they sit? He said, because that's how I made you. Now go hit them streets and be happy. Now go in them streets and be happy. Teddy's a motherfucking genius, nigga. Bruh, that nigga, nigga is, is hilarious as fuck. Hey, I just did a, sk- I just did a uh, short film with him coming out on Valentine's Day. I don't know when it's coming out, but y'all make sure y'all look for this short film called Why She Keeps Scratching. <laughs> wow. Starring myself, Teddy Ray, and Daphne Springs. You know what I'm saying? For How real? long is the movie? It's a movie? It's a short. It's oh. a short. It's a film short, nigga. We're using technical terms. For real? Yes, yeah, it's a film short. <laughs> send me the link. Yeah, I'm going to send you the link. I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to make sure Ryan have it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to send it to you. You know what I'm talking about? I texted you the other day, nigga. You didn't hear me back. You a lie. You gonna stop lying on me too. I'm gonna show it to you off camera. <laughs> I'm still gonna say you lying. I'm, I'm still gonna call uh, you. I, think I'm gonna give up on my life? I am, I am, I'm nigga, lying. Nigga, I've gotten myself out of work. I'm worse, lying. I, I, I can definitely convince you. Nigga. I am you, lying. You see the type of hell marriage I've pulled off. <laughs> I am lying. I just want to spit some bullshit right now. <laughs> I, hey, you know, sometimes you. niggas be wanting to do that. Just spit, just pop some bullshit. Speaking they of can. which, let's just read some bullshit that's been happening in the world. What's happening? Well, the first bullshit, you know, LeBron, he got into it with the white lady. Shout out to LeBron James. Stay strong, black man. Don't never let nobody talk you out of your position. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't going to say his name, but the old president, all his lawyers quit on this new impeachment trial. That can't be good. Lock his ass up. 
Tom Brady going back to the Super Bowl. Who you got? Chiefs or the Bucks? The one that wins. The Chiefs or the Bucks? The Titans. The Chiefs or the Bucks? The Titans. The Bucks or the Chiefs? The, the Titans. Chiefs or the Bucks? The Titans. <laughs> the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans. All right, bet. This lady is doing some phenomenal things in the state of Georgia. Miss Stacey Abrams is nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> for saving America from old dude second term. Mm-hmm. We just lost Hank Aaron. We got to say that because we in Atlanta, you know. He a legend, you know, the hammer. Larry King is out of there. He out of there. Shout out to Larry King. That flattened them texting me right there. See what they talking about, Ryan. We in the group chat. Damn. I don't even want to say it. Rest in peace to Screech. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I Goddamn saw Screech, that. man. Cancel some shit? Yeah, man. Goddamn Screech out of here, man. Goddamn. He was so young. Goddamn Screech. He showed his ass on VH1. Yeah. <laughs> now, he literally had yeah, a porno was... where he had the girl eating his ass. Y'all remember he got in trouble for that? Don't act like I'm... He did. He had a... <coughs> I remember. I remember, but I ain't see Don't it. Don't Google it, but it's true. <laughs> Don't I Google it. I ain't see that shit, but I remember. Nah, because I remember it was on TMZ and all that shit, and they brought it up on the on the VH1 show when him and the black dude got into it. Mm. Goddamn Vince Young got the job. He got hired at uh, Texas University, man. Hey, yeah. He got rehired. Well, you know what, nigga ain't been fired before. Look at me. I been fired before. I bounced back. Everybody deserves a second chance. Now it's that third chance that we're gonna say fuck you all. Shit, now. You get one more, you get one chance to fuck up. Mm. Bruh, this is news. Plies took his gold out. Shout out to Plies. He fucked with this show. I didn't know he fucked with this show until we had a show with him. And I walked in and the nigga was already laughing. I thought he'd just be doing that shit on Instagram. <laughs> Everybody fuck with the this. show. Everybody fuck with the show? Who you seen fucking with? Everybody. You know who I'm trying to get to watch it? Who that? Morgan Freeman. <laughs> you probably do. I fuck with Morgan. I think Morgan is thrilling enough to watch this shit. You know, he's a worldly ass actor, man. He been he gotta know this kind of shit. So when he comes, gotta do the role, he gotta know this kind of shit. I feel like he might have seen it, because he did, he did some uh some skits on 21 Savage album. So, oh yeah, he, he might have he might have caught one or two episodes. Of he did some skits on 21 Savage album. Yeah, he narrating the 21 God Savage. God damn, 21 you Savage. You know who else I want to, I want to start um who I want to start watching this show? Rihanna. <clears throat> you know Rihanna watched this show, nigga. You think so? I'm, come on, man, the bad girl Riri? Yeah, yeah I, that's bad, who I want to watch. Bad girl watch me. She watch this motherfucker. Riri. I know she do. Riri. Riri, Riri, Riri. You know Carlos else? on the DM. Who else got to see this shit? <laughs> Bobby Brown. You know, come on. Bobby, Bobby, this is the trillest show on earth, and Bobby's one of the trillest niggas on earth. He had that you know, scene. Ha man, come on, man. At least the Dallas Austin joint. Bobby subscribe. Come on. He know it. You think O.J. Simpson seen this shit? Tell the truth, bro. Don't lie to me. O.J. probably watched it once and be like, no, I don't like them guys. I don't guys. like them guys. Yeah, they they too niggas. <laughs> I can see that happening. I can see that happening. O.J. probably watched this shit like, nah, I'm cool. Everybody watch this shit, bro. Everybody watch this shit. If you watching this shit right now, tell them everybody watch this everybody shit. Everybody watch this shit. I, it's crazy how many people watch this man, shit. Man, look, this is amazing, man. Bro, I'm talking about. I'm so about, motherfucking proud of y'all, man. I put this the hood is back on my ears. Shit. With, with it's used cold to the as fuck. My little feet it is, is a little tingling and shit. Let me put my shit back on. Bro, it's cold, man. These motherfuckers. You gotta do sign like that's, that's how you know it's time for niggas to go. <laughs> my motherfucking hands is frozen, bro. <laughs> niggas don't want to put the heat on. Just want niggas to leave and shit. Bro, you look like you about to pay a whole goddamn property tax. Man, look here. <laughs> I'm just you just look something. like a nigga that got a riding lawnmower. Hey, <laughs> I told you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm an elder statesman now, man. I'm an elder statesman. Bro, who just... made you wear this shit? Huh? 
<laughs> Who you down here trying to impress? <laughs> nigga, ain't nobody nigga I'm impressing myself. Nigga, I'm a real player. Well, when I'm you a read real the, player out here, man. When you read the comments, I'm a real just player. know they're going to be on hey, your ass. Hey, man, they fuck with me, man. When you read the comments, don't worry about it, man. Just know I'm a slap, nigga. Something like a pimp. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, and I'm sliding through. You yeah, know what that I'm one went over their head. They ain't got to. Like a haircut. They ain't got to. He said, I'm a slap. Something like a pimp. You know what I'm talking about? You see the Stacey's nigga shined up in Chambers, nigga, on Manchester. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Sorry, another chamber. Put a zoom in right there, nigga, for the little niggas. That's where you at, Slink, in yeah. life? Yeah. You want niggas to see your stage of Yeah. 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 As, you know, we all go through stages. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I am in my journey, little nigga. You know what I'm talking about? So when you smell that bucket of chicken on the table, don't even trip. You know what I'm talking about? My nigga. Do a good thing for these really niggas in their life. On the young niggas. Yes, man. In some Stacey. In some Stacey, nigga. One more time. Fuck it. Joe. Joe, I need a Zoom, bro. Get it together and Zoom so these young niggas can see what they got to look forward to. This is how you flex when you grow. See that nigga how with the shiny shine? Are your church shoes. With the nigga. shine, nigga. With the shine, nigga. With the shine, nigga. Come through, come, come over your house and flambe some shit, nigga. It's good, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't no young nigga no more, man. I know. Let me see that lighter. I know. I'm trying to chill and be reserved, man. Let me dress Is my this, little groove right here. You first, loving it? It's like your birthday just passed. So this your first year out there, like, officially? Like? Out there, like, officially. I, I just officially just took my first gas station pill. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, nigga. I'm like, fuck it. You got to embrace where you at in life, man. Because I know a whole bunch of niggas that ain't make it to this point. You know what I'm talking about? Hell yeah. Hell Ooh. yeah. Shit. So I'm feeling stupendous. You know, splendiferous around this motherfucker. Splend you know what I'm saying? motherfucking different. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit for a long time, Carlos. But when you put that shit on, you do you look indigenous to the soil right now. Man, look here, man. I've been doing this, man. Master of the West African monkey spank technique. Five-time wild cheetah submission hole champion. On, nigga, man. I've been... Nigga raw, nigga ordained minister, nigga. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit, nigga. I know. Nigga, employee of the month. I seen, Four times, I nigga. I seen you when you did some nigga, of that shit. Five-time baby daddy championship winner, nigga. I got five rings, nigga. For real? Mm-hmm. Damn. Five trophies, nigga. I'm trying to tell these little niggas, man, one day y'all grow up and be like me, man. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to poach an egg or something, make a bitch happy. You know what I'm you saying? You poach your eggs for me? I got a, I still smoke oh, yeah. the same one. <laughs> Eric, smoke yours, fool. I am. Don't worry about no, this me. This is yours right here, nigga. Well, smoke mine. Dude. I am. Man. <laughs> smoke the weed. <laughs> That's the house weed. Ain't no mine in yours. Is that, is now, is it the house weed you said is yours? Because you went and I mean, got I, out I, your stash. I mean, I ain't about to, I'm not. I'm not. It claiming. makes a difference when I'm smoking yours. I need to write it on the list, Carlos. Look, man, I need to know who's I smoke. You smoking in care of Carlos Miller right now. <laughs> in, Ryan, is this your shit? No. Nope. His shit trash, trash. <laughs> And a nigga had a little soap in the bag. I don't know what that do. Mm -mm. Like you trying to keep this shit fresh or something, my nigga? Whatever. I love it, man. And that's just how we live in Slink. Like a lot of people be checking the podcast out, but they don't know who the podcast is for. This podcast right here for all the faithful men out here who got one woman, but you want two more. That's all you want. Like, you not about to cheat on your lady. You just want two more bitches. <coughs> and ain't nothing wrong with that in your heart, in your mind. So I've been told, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with desire. Nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with Nigga desire. Nigga, I get that lust out of his heart. Ain't that damn, wrong with that it. lust wor- worse than indigestion. Mm-hmm. You know how bad lust is? That's God true. put that in the Ten Commandments. Don't be looking at your neighbor white because God knew it's that if you were successful, like yeah. you supposed to be, chances are your neighbor going to have a bad bitch too. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's too many bad bitches at this point in time in history? No, sir. No, sir. Because I was thinking about that shit the other day. Women look better than they have ever looked in the history of mankind at this point in time right now. You ever thought about that? These are not the same women your no. granddaddy was chasing. 
Ain't no woman. such thing as really no ugly women no more. You see an ugly woman, you kind of want to holler at her because she's so rare. Mm-hmm. Like, like a collectible Pokemon. Like, ain't nobody going to believe. Oh, is that Mangazor? Bro, yeah. what if we... What if it's like... What if we get desensitized to pretty women and the thing is going to be having an ugly chick? Because ugly chicks don't look like nobody. Like, to order to look good, you got to kind of like, ooh, she look like... Such and such. But if you get some original, just like, is she ugly or undiscovered? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't be thinking about this kind of shit. It's just me. And this ain't even directed at nothing. These just thoughts I be having in my mind. Like, ain't nobody gonna understand these. Cause if you think about how life works, right? It's really 50-50. It's 50% of the motherfuckers who ain't never gonna fuck with you anyway. But then it's fifty percent of some motherfuckers who gonna fuck with you anyway. That's crazy. We be so worried about the people who never gonna fuck with us in any way that we be forgetting about the motherfuckers who we the shit to. Bro, we the shit to somebody. I'm tell I'm a bitch crush somewhere. I'm talking about if I was in the city, she fucking tonight cause she liked me, Absolutely. not because I took her out to dinner. It's because she heard this shit and liked me. Like, that's my type of nigga. And she don't even know me. That's why when we go to these shows, they be like, Carlos, I love you. I be like, what does that mean? Does that mean, like, I can drive your car tonight? <laughs> or do that mean, like, you just a fan of this work? Because that's two different things. Love, you can take love outside and do some shit with it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just in the room. For the moment. Right, this too deep for these Carlos niggas. They ain't high like, enough. I'm high as fuck. Why you ain't? I'm high as fuck right now. Bro, you told me you was gonna smoke this bitch out. I'm still gonna smoke, but I'm high as fuck right now. Come on, bro. I'm gonna smoke. I just gotta make sure it's gone, cause uh, it ain't we. It ain't legal here yet, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it man. ain't illegal. Mm. <laughs> okay. You know what they do now when they find we? Like, man, uh, hey, put that shit up. I don't know. I haven't encountered them, and I don't either. want to. I don't. Even, I don't either. I've just been whatever scared them hell. officers got going on. They need to keep that going on because it don't involve me. The motherfuckers. I, the motherfuckers pulled us over in Mississippi. I don't know nothing about this South shit as far as well. I was in Mississippi. The motherfuckers pulled me over in Union County, Mississippi. That's right there past where I'm from. My nigga, That's Pontotoc. Them niggas pulled us over, nigga. I thought they was gonna take us straight to the plantation. They probably would have. Right, motherfucking there. They nigga. found the weed. Yes. Ooh. They found the weed and took the weed and just just let us go. They jacked us for the weed. I believe it. I'm I from thought they was gonna take us down. Forty years. They would have gave you about forty years. <laughs> I thought that was a Mississippi got the craziest laws, bro. I'm scared of all that shit. That's why I be nice. That's why I wear this kind of shit so I can be cool. You I don't think saying? that's gonna like get you out of alone. no trouble, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think it will sometimes. You just but when be you nice. put some hard bottoms on, motherfuckers do gotta talk to you different. Yeah, you know, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas put this on one more time. Give me one more zone so these niggas can see. No, you some real shit, though. You do look like you about to buy a plot of land. Zoom in that shit. And look, little nigga, look, little nigga, if you look close, you can see yourself. You know what I'm saying? One day you can be like me. Sling look like you're going to break some horses after this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just got to be cool. You know what I'm saying? At least I, I'd rather look like I'm about to break some horses than break into somebody else. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm, just cool. I'm going cool. off in that motherfucker. Hey, I ain't yeah. got the patience to steal. Nah, me neither. I'm picky. I'm too picky to steal some shit. Mm, from I don't want no use that no shit. shit. That's another motherfucker head. Yeah, that's some bullshit right there, nigga. Give me yeah. some Stacy's. Out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, nigga, this shit is right. Nigga, you got some. This some cool ass house weed, to be honest. I was talking shit about it and shit, but this shit kind of got me like real right. I'm high as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuck. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. This yeah. right. I'm, and I appreciate you giving it up like I'm that. That's some real shit. Cause a lot of people be coming over here and they be like, man, what is this? And I'm like, nigga, y'all just just don't have the right connections in the right places to just really have that weed that do what weed's supposed to do. It's like a cool little goulash, you know what I'm saying? At first, at first hit, it ain't it ain't, you know, it wasn't very little tasty to me. However, you know, as however. I continue to smoke, you know what I'm saying? However. Yes, however, you know, it does the job very effectively. You know what I'm talking about? My carnivorosity's bubbling at an all-time high wow. right now. My shit is redlining, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. My shit is redlining a little bit, and this shit is good, you know what I'm saying? My signal is going in and out. But 
but you know it's gonna start evening out in a minute. So just give me a second to even this motherfucking signal out. Cause this weed is where it's at right here. I'm really fucking with this, man. You know what I'm saying? But every time we get together, we get high as fuck and talk about the good time. We do. It be that it be Cali weed. This I don't know what this shit is right here, nigga. This some You think we don't got Cali weed in there? Mm-hmm, this mother shit. I know y'all got Cali weed, but this some other shit. Like this shit got grits in it or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> got me full. You know what I'm saying? I leave you, I'll be like, I don't wanna smoke no more. You yeah, know what I'm man. saying? Hey, there ain't nothing gonna hit like that. Shit, I mean, this is cool. I don't usually go for pre rolls and shit, man, to be honest with you, but if you're gonna give them to me, I'm gonna take them. But this shit. This shit is all right. Nigga, I fuck with this. You know, as founder and president of the Smoke Yours crew, yeah. I get an 85 South show to stamp of approval. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll make sure you know. You know, sit. well, on behalf of the 85 South show and all our affiliates, Link, you know, we, we humbly accept that. You know, coming from, you know, a legendary smoker as yourself. Look at that. What's your art department? What's your art department name? Oh, do you need somebody from the research department What's, or the art department? The art department. What's her name? Oh, I can't tell you. Okay, well, to ask the art department. I want to hang a little hook right there, and I want y'all to hang my Stacy's right there. <laughs> nah, if you send them to us, like, we're going to do it right. Like we're going to get a whole glass display, and we're going to get you to sign a plaque. I'm going to send them to you and hang them over the recording sign. You know what I'm saying? Super Bowl 55 is this weekend. DraftKings has the Super Bowl prediction challenge and they're giving away $55 million. And you'll also have a chance to win $25,000 throughout the whole thing. Play the DraftKings, use the promo code, 85 South. Y'all should know by now. If you go and watch the Super Bowl, you might as well put something on it because you sit at the house and you say what's gonna happen anyway because your stupid ass talk at the TV and you talk to it and you say it and you see it happen, you might as well get paid for them dumbass predictions. Like who'll score last, boom. You can make it rain with some money just because you knew what to do, predictions. And you know your grandma was Creole, so who knows? Maybe you got some of that shit left over in you, and you uh, got a little clairvoyancy. You know what I'm saying? So DraftKings, promo code 85 South. Make sure you do it. Uh, Terms, conditions, eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. DraftKings, 85 South. That's the promo code. Super Bowl 55 this weekend. After this weekend, this shit gonna be obsolete. So do it now. Let's go. Download the DraftKings app now and use promo code 85 South to enter the free $55 million Super Bowl prediction challenge. Everyone gets an instant prize up to $25,000 just for playing. So use promo code 85 South and enter the free $55 million Super Bowl challenge. Only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of Super Bowl 55. Terms, conditions, Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. I mean, if you are one of those people who looking for some individuality out here in these worlds, so you need to get with Hawthorne. Hawthorne is a premium tailored personal care brand that's making it easy for guys to feel and smell your best. They got these personalized products that will just make your life dope as hell and you don't have to just be an average joke so make sure you go over there and use the promo code 85 south they got all types of stuff lotion foot cream oils cologne they got some elbow lotion cream they got cream eye drops that's a lot of stuff on there man i don't know if they got all of it but they got most of it do what I did. Take Hawthorne's quiz today and get started on your personalized self-care routine by going to hawthorne.co. Use promo code 85SELF and get 10% off your first purchase. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O. Promo code 85SELF. Hawthorne.co. Promo code 85SELF. Man, what was it like having your own show? Man, that shit is out. This shit was outstanding. I'm gonna say is, because the white folks ain't told me it was over. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they hit your boy back. But this shit is outstanding, you know what I'm saying? I, you know me, or like most of us, I don't know. I just felt like doing the show was like a dream come true. And then August 7th came and the shit about to come on TV and I'm just thinking like, watch this shit though, come on. Watch these white folks pull the plug. But that shit came on, man, and it was. They wanted me to be the crackhead. It was on fucking that. amazing.
I was like, Lola, can you be a crackhead? I was like, I am above it. <laughs> <laughs> they did. That's fucked up. I wish they had a note. I mean, I would have did it, but it Ooh. wouldn't have been believable. Casting what bitch is going to believe a nigga this handsome? No, you too crack. fly to be a crackhead. <laughs> That just looks stupid. Man. You too fly for that. I know. I you mean, too fly it's not for even believable. Like he must really be acting. You too. Fly. <laughs> yeah, you too fly for that. <laughs> Talking about Black Jesus. Did you catch any hell? For that? I mean, you know, people, people don't play wrote about, about Jesus. it and shit, but then nobody come see me. It's mm. cool. Then nobody, you know, writing the letters to me and say no shit. Ain't nobody, nobody gonna walk up to you, nigga. You like six six. Well, you know, with, be, even with that hat on, you know, ain't nobody just going, who going to walk up to a nigga 6'6 six, six with Stacey Adams on? Man, you'd be surprised, man. You'd be surprised, man. These little niggas be buck. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The white boys, you know, you know, whoever passionate about their point, they be buck. Walk up and shit, chest all poked out, nigga, four foot seven, nigga. What's up, nigga? <laughs> Anybody, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just be trying to be cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, you know. Niggas be like, you big, and you know, always be using my height. And, you know, I be thinking of it like this. You know, if men are dogs, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Great Dane. Whenever you heard a Great Dane be vicious, nigga, I'm Marmaduke, nigga. Be chilling, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You Marmaduke? I'm Marmaduke, nigga. I'm Marmaduke, nigga. Fucking Scooby Doo. I be chilling, nigga. <laughs> you. All right, man. It's cool, man. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, gotta learn to chill out, man. It's, it's good, man. You know what I'm saying? You all right? I'm good, man. I told I'm you, I'm chilling my damn you know, self. That's all this shit is about. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm gonna take my shoes off again as soon as my feet get warm, though. It's just cold as <laughs> fuck in here, man. He just he he opened that bitch up, you know. He opened it up. Yeah, it's it's not that it's cold in here. It's just that Turn the temperature. On the fucking stove. It's about that time of night. <laughs> this is what people don't realize, bro. At a certain time of night in Atlanta, it just the temperature just drop all of a sudden, man. It's just, it's some strange ass place. Nigga, it People is. think this is the South, but I don't know. It's, it's all the South, but it's the Southeast. And then it just be so much strange shit happening. It might fuck around and be 80 degrees tomorrow. Nigga. But then it might rain for two weeks. It's cold as fuck right now, nigga. It's cold nigga as fuck don't now. Do nothing. Right. Nothing. And that's what it's been doing this whole time. It'll be cold as fuck, get hot for three days, rain for two weeks, same shit over and over again. Man, that's some bullshit, man. That is some bullshit. I'm glad we got some cool accommodations. Otherwise, I'll be crying and shit, because it's cold as fuck. That wind come by whip, wisping hard as a bitch, nigga. Shaking the, shaking the whole building, nigga. Wisping? Wisping, nigga. You got to say wisping. You got to enunciate for these niggas. Wisping. Wisping. See, you doing all the shows and shit, nigga. I said wisping. Wisping. It's wisping. Wow. You still got to make it a little niggerish for niggas. Yeah. Whisper. You said enunciate. Enunciate, but you still got to add a little niggerosity to it. You know what I'm saying? There you go. That's what helped a nigga win. That's what helped me win. Niggerosity. Yes. Is that like the nigger version of nigger generosity? You know, a little bit, perhaps. Niggerosity. Yeah. That's kind of like when the weed man give you a little bit extra. Yeah, it's a little niggerosity. You know what I'm saying? A little nigger generosity. Get that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to put a little niggerosity on it. You know what I'm saying? So what if you're going through a phase of changing it? Would that be like a nigga Otis or like a nigga's, like a, what would that be? If you're going through a phase of changing, like what? Like a nigga metamorphosis. Oh, it'll be like a, uh, like a would that like be a Nagorfius? It's like a nigga synthesis. <laughs> nigga synthesis. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, you, you just, you just change and you know, it, niggas change through their life. Wait, wait, wait. So let me ask you this. Are there synthetic niggas? Oh, yes, indeed. Ooh. Yes, indeed. It's a lot of them. It's, it's authentic. It's, it's a lot it's of them, authentic. niggas. authentic. And then it's synthetic. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's, a, it's more authentic, but it's a quite a few synthetic niggas sliding within the ranks that need to be weeded out. <laughs> Give me an example of a synthetic-ass mm. nigga. Mm. Synthetic. From a nigga with some stasis on. That shit okay. hit different. Okay. Everything synthetic. you say, damn near believable. You okay. got the ball. Okay, you know, I'm in the process of writing a handbook right now, so some of this information I may disclose, you know what I'm saying, may not be suitable for some viewers. That's what you're getting at. But, you know, we tell them at the beginning of this show anyway. This show? Viewer discretion All right. is advised. All right, some of these synthetic niggas, man. I tell you, man, 
some of these niggas, man, fashion is fashion, man. But I'm tired of seeing you niggas, man, calves, man. Tired of seeing you niggas' jeans painted on, man. If you and your bitch, get, <laughs> niggas' jeans are too tight, man. Too tight. It's one thing is be slim, it's another thing to be tight. Niggas look like Negro superheroes, man. <laughs> Nigga ain't supposed to see the motherfucking contour of your calf, my nigga. <laughs> no, but on some real shit, when I see them niggas with them, I move out the way. Because mm. any nigga who got enough nerve to do some shit like that don't give a fuck about nothing I got going on. Mm. Them he, niggas will take you he out. Just don't they got more to so prove. These niggas right here, man. I'm telling you, man. Look here, ladies. If you and your nigga about to have sex and you peeling your jeans off and that nigga peeling his off too, who's the real bitch? <laughs> just ask yourself that question. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I'm, I'm like I seen some synthetic niggas doing shit like they be out here trying to be best friends with the hoes and shit. Mm, yeah, the that's old. that's a that's a very 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 common trait. Oh, play brother ass. Oh, I hate them niggas. I hate them niggas. I hate them niggas, man. I hate you niggas. That's you. You niggas is poisoning the hoes with this shit. <laughs> no, man, I got put my hoodie back on. You <laughs> niggas is poisoning the hoes with this friend shit, nigga. So when a nigga, when the bitch run across a, a motherfucker like an 85 South Show viewer or a Smoke Yours affiliate, she got it fucked up because she been fucked with niggas like you. Look here, bitch. Niggas is not your friend. Stop. I'm just saying, man, that's some bullshit, man. Can you even say that type of shit anymore? Because they got so many. When opinions. you wear spaces, you can do it. That's why I asked you. Do you them young niggas, they can't talk that shit because they shoe game off. No, nah, they shoe game nice. I give them that, but they, they off, you know, they ain't they they just not there yet. But they, you know, they game they got some nice game. They got some, well, I take that back, man. What's up with them orthopedic soul looking shoes, them motherfuckers? You know? <laughs> I hate them motherfucking shoes. Them niggas look you like don't a fuck with them. Them one line Me either. Where you, where I don't you just either. slide in them and shit and they just wrap around the nigga ankle and shit. What the fuck is that shit? Them big ass shoes. Look like superheroes with them tight ass pants. Big no. ass shoes. Big ass shoes. With the, or big ass soles and shit. They wear platforms, man. What These the niggas just grew up different, bro. I, I don't think they mean no harm. They just from a different environment. I don't think they mean no harm either, man. But you know, I be hearing motherfuckers always talking about the OGs need to come back. It ain't the OGs' fault. It's the daddies. Niggas go home and take care of these kids. Nigga, these niggas is fucked up. These niggas is doing music videos and shit in the kitchen of a condo, strapped with a gang of guns, shirtless, and dancing around in the circle, 20 niggas and not a hole in sight. What's That's because they niggas? responded to 20 niggas who said something about all 20 of them. Hmm. How do you got 20 niggas gathering? What That's what shirts they, they, on, they on the inst they trying to, they ain't like on the first level of the game. They got to get in the game first. You know how hard it is to get a, a lot of hoes? What hoes gonna show up with 20 niggas? You wouldn't even feel right trying to bring some hoes around 20 niggas. I wouldn't bring no hoes around, no niggas. Why are you around 20 niggas? Look, I'm doing a mentoring program, man. Hit my shit, man, slinkjohnson.com, man. Just send me a picture of your mama and $50. God and damn, what they, what they got to? <laughs> you pandering? No. No, you pandering. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just trying to help the youth. You know what I'm saying? These little niggas is misguided. You gonna start with the mamas. Yeah, I'm, you know, I just, you know, we gotta, I gotta, you gotta it's, start it's an just, interview process. Okay. It's an interview process. <laughs> Bro, stop playing, because a lot of mamas watch this show, and they gonna definitely hit you, well, you know. about helping with them kids. Zoom in on Stacey. Get them shoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> you letting them know you ready. <laughs> Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> I'm in this motherfucker live with your auntie boyfriend, Slink in this bitch. What's happening, player? The cold ass hat, man. You can't be matched. Hey. Black Jesus. Hey man, you know what I'm saying. Thank you very much, Carlos. I don't know, man. I'm just, 
I'm feeling some kind of way right now, man. Like I mean, what kind of way you feel? I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling awestruck, man. I'm in motherfucking 85 South, man. I'm, on, I'm in the trap, nigga. This the trap. This is the trap of all traps, nigga. This is the trap of all traps. And this nigga, you know, nigga, this is like, the, this is like the Tonight Show for real, niggas, man. Ooh, this, yeah. But if they watch it the next day, it'll be like the last night show. <laughs> Or the Today Show if they watching it in the morning. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? So I need me a show that come on at 3 in the morning. Guess what I want to call it? Fuck is you doing? <laughs> I want to be a guest on and that And it just be me at the house. The shit you can do at 3 in the morning at your house. Hey, what's up, y'all? I went to sleep earlier, so um, look, we just about to go through the house looking for shit that we ain't found, <laughs> that we ain't seen since we moved in this motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, nigga, that motherfucker hit, too. I know. That motherfucker hit. You ever find yourself doing some dumb ass shit at 3, 4 in the morning, cleaning out the refrigerator, and you look out the window, the sun up, like, fuck, wow. Yes, yes. Fucking sweeping, I mean, cleaning out the fucking fireplace and shit. Stupid shit. Fuck I'm doing, man. Just high up, insomnia and shit. <laughs> Worried about that bitch. <laughs> bitch, get out of my mind. <laughs> That's exactly what it be, though. Oh, shit. Bitch, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> up doing some stupid shit. Bro, That's women, why I said I want to be the first mother. Women your ass crazy yeah, they for will, real, man. Cause they be fucking crazy already. Man, these bitches, man. I swear to God, man. One time I heard a woman. <laughs> I was, she called and I was like, I was asleep. She was like, Don't nobody sleep that fucking long. I was like, What type of stupid ass shit is that? You don't know what made me tired or nothing. <laughs> Inconsiderate. They don't care nothing they about They don't care nothing feelings. about that shit. They, it's, look, bitch, it's only 24 hours in a day. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Bitch, always want the man of a nigga. It's only 24 hours in a, of a day. You feel me? Look here. It's eight hours. You want a nigga that's responsible and a nigga to take care of business, he gonna work eight hours a day, bitch. He need eight hours to sleep, bitch, so that's 16. He got only eight hours left, bitch. You know a good, faithful black man, God-fearing black man, got to go to church and worship God, bitch. He need at least two hours out that eight to do that. And he love and respect his mama so goddamn much that he got to devote two hours out of his day to go make sure his mama got everything that she needs because he is the one that holds his family down. That leaves him only four hours. Oh. And out of them four hours, it is imperative that that brother gets to fellowship with his partners in the trap and do real nigga shit. You understand what I'm saying? You don't fucking, you bitches are so selfish. What's wrong? I give you that hour. What's wrong with that? What the fuck is wrong with that? That real spirit then came in here. I'm talking about a real ass spirit. Fuck that. They're you so right? inconsiderate, man. I'm They're telling you, so it's just inconsiderate. It, look, man, my heart bleeds They demand right now. so much of your life. Look here, bitch. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, bitch. Bruh, this shit's so real that the Asley brothers had to write a song about it. You remember that? That nigga didn't even waste no time on the loop. Soon as the beat came on, that nigga said, "I got a job, baby. <laughs> I got work to do." <laughs> Let that nigga live. You're going to have to get used to me coming home a little late. <laughs> bitch. I'm at work. Bitch, look, he's a good black man. You Bro, it's so hard to boy. be. It's so hard to just, you know. They just don't even Avoid understand. the pitfalls when that you they got, out here setting for black men. That's a black man. Man, you got to understand when you got pregnant, you know how many bitches' hearts I had to break? Oh, my God. Why you bring that up? That's just horrible. Bro, I'm, I'm, it took me a long time to work through that. You know how I many people I'm talking you... about I was at the height of my whoredom. I was pulling winners. <laughs> Lawyers. Doctors. Women with exotic sports cars. <laughs> Cheaters. Squirters. Edges. <laughs> deep throaters. Women who asked for it in mm. the booty. Mm. I'm talking about ask for it. Mm. <laughs> They some, like some it, it, possibly it. required it. They required it. it, it. <laughs> Strippers, gymnasts, mm -hmm. dance instructors, <laughs> independent business owners, a, a fucking beautician that made over fifty thousand dollars a month. 
Lord have mercy. And you're going to bring that up in the trap. No, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to keep the it real. The height of my whoredom. See, that's the thing, man. That I'm should be the name of my memoir. Deep. At the height of my whoredom. That's a delicate time in a man's life. <laughs> I'm talking about when you got a whole goddamn a team of winners. That's a delicate time in a man's life. Right. You know what I'm talking about? You that, don't owe nobody nothing. That's what teaches a man, you know. Responsibility. A, a responsibility and dedication. You know what I'm saying? Priorities. And priorities, yeah. You know, you got to learn. Right. Because you have to be smart enough to actually know how to put this rotation together. And unfortunately, some of these bitches is collateral damage. Wow. <laughs> some of these motherfuckers you should have never been fucking with anyway. But sometimes we ignore the red flags. And you just got to offer ministry. Sometimes you just got to offer some ministry. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, she just might be a lost soul. You know but what I'm saying? Sometimes. Just, she just sometimes. Sometimes. Just a little so bump worth in the road. It. it might be just be a bump in the road and it's so worth it. Because you know you. how much you might do for her life. I'm telling you, sometimes you know it'd be might, worth it. How much it. you do for her life? A lot. It's a lot. What the fuck? Hey, is that, is that, is that a white Honda? No. Nah, we got this still, though. It's a lot. I'm talking about my baby mama's out there. Oh. <laughs> She might be, though. That bitch got a big-ass back, my nigga. You love her, though. I do. I do. She good people. She good people. She make soup? Mm-hmm. We know. Little beans in the shit, little garbage, little beans. I'm like, bitch, what you doing, bitch? You little that's delicacies what, and shit. That's what you be doing, man. You know what I'm talking about, bitch? I saw how you lit up when you brought her up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> she good. You Trying to get saying? back with her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know. How this going? Shit started when it was it was cool till I started having the spit start to pussy. It wasn't no good. Oh. That's how I know she lost the feeling. When you got a spit right. started. <laughs> when you when you got a spit started, she lost the feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, ladies, you know when you like that nigga, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker's wet. It's ready all the time. When as soon as he call you, and you know what? That That's motherfucker's it. moist. You know what I'm talking about? Them motherfuckers nice and just soggy and shit. You know what I'm talking about? After you don't like that nigga no more, that shit is, yeah, that man. shit is the Mojave. You know, that shit is sandpaper trying to slide a penile up in that motherfucker. I right, like just weed back up. I can't shit. believe you came up here and brought up all these traumatic ass women. <laughs> now you I'm reminded saying, you me of all the times that I ain't been liked. Look, look, zoom in the face again. <laughs> See, when you've been through a lot, you know what I'm saying, life has been troubling, you know what I'm saying, you've been through trouble. No, because look, that's one part of the You're able to just recognize, you know what I'm saying, I've, 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 I've come, I've, I've embraced my pain. You that's one part of the pussy game that niggas don't never speak on. We all done had some pussy after she ain't like you no more. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't cool. That shit don't even feel the same. Mm -hmm. That old hunt, take it ass pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Business laying there looking at you. Yeah. You're trying to make you feel like Mr. from Color Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Punk ass bitch. <laughs> trying to get trip you and shit. That shit is, that is terrible. Make you just want to put your dick up. Never mind. Yeah, bitch. And that's what's wrong? That pussy feels like anger. And you know what? The bitches don't understand, like, that's what hurt. You know what I'm saying? It ain't so much that... The pussy is fucked up. It's the fact that you don't love me no more and you expressing it through the pussy. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. This That's thing is good. You, this you guy's saying, fucking really heart. good. <laughs> no, listen, kid. You, you got a gift. You got a real gift. <laughs> oh, when you said that last shit you fucking said. <laughs> you fucking said that fucking shit That's right real there. life. That's real life, man. Oh, you don't love me no more and you're expressing it through the pussy. <laughs> I've never heard words so fucking beautiful. I, I've never, I've never had words. That's real shit. Listen, I've never had words touch me in a way that when you said that shit that you fucking said, oh my fucking God. Who is this guy? Hey, they call you Black Jesus for a reason. You know how when you used to hit that pussy when you first started, that pussy was like, wow. You'll lead a dice game for that pussy. You gone. You up and shit like I'm up 1,800. I told that bitch I was going to be there at 9. You there. That pussy was wet. You know what I'm saying? Two, three you years You want me to in. tell ladies, this is how you know you was at the height of your pussy. If your nigga go get you some food and bring it back and the shit still hot. <laughs> And ain't none of your fries missing? 
Nigga ain't bit off nothing. If a nigga bring you back some warm ass food. This nigga love you, bitch. <laughs> you should just be glad a nigga bringing you something to eat. See, I'm here, I can, I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to articulate a real nigga's love. I don't think these bitches understand how real Mother, nigga love. Before you even get to that part, I gotta have you speak on what you said. She expressing how much she don't love you through the pussy. Through the pussy. That motherfucker used to be Niagara Falls. That motherfucker used to be a slip and slide, nigga. That shit was great, nigga. Now it's that just shit like was a skating m- ring. Now this shit is like a motherfucking sandpaper, nigga. That shit is like the inside of sandpaper inside a toilet paper roll. That when shit it, is when it hurt both fuck. of y'all? When it hurt both of y'all? When it hurt both of y'all, that shit is nasty as fuck. Bitch, you gotta stop doing that. That's some buster ass shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it doesn't like feeling like don't nobody love you. As soon as you get that, like that feeling of un, being unwanted. That one right there. Who's supposed to be inviting like your grandma house? It's supposed to be. <laughs> like for everybody you. can spend It's supposed night. to be a safe haven for you and your feelings. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially, especially your feelings. Especially when I'm in there skiing with you, you know what wow. I'm saying? I'm exchanging bodily fluids with you, bitch. I'm giving you my essence. Bitch, this is for you. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? That's why I think when niggas be fucking up when they always, we gotta stop this term, give me some pussy. What do you, what you mean, give me some pussy, bitch? I'm giving you some dick. <laughs> do you understand what's going on right now? I'm, you are the recipient of greatness. This is the power staff of life, bitch. I'm importing the power inside you. You just made me change my whole train of thought once again. I will no longer say give me some pussy. You know what I'm gonna start mm-hmm. telling her? Give us some pussy. <laughs> Cause you gonna get some too. You gonna get some too. You gonna let's get. have an experience between each right. other. Right. Cause this is a get. This is a. Come on, man. We gotta stop all this. Look, bitch. I'm giving you something, and I'm giving you my time. You know how. Don't get. Come on. I already divided it up. I for already you. know how I'm gonna do it. I can't do it in my voice though. Don't be like, ma'am. <laughs> I would like to exchange some dick for some of that pussy, please. <laughs> I have dick for exchange. Would you like to make a deal with me? I'll trade you 30 minutes of dick for 60 minutes of pussy. This you gotta know. Cause I gotta come back. I gotta fuck two times. I'm coming back. You gotta know it. And if you and, and bitch, if you fucking with a real nigga, and pardon me when I say bitch, don't come on, y'all miss me with all the LEP. It'll be cool if he wasn't calling us bitches. Bitch, that's most endearingly. You all love it if that wow. right nigga call you bitches. So let's take it that I'm the right wow. nigga right now. <laughs> bitch. Wow. You know what I'm talking about? So look here. Y'all bitches stop I feel that, like man. if you saying bitch, you say, I feel like you talking to a specific type of person who only gonna hear it. Like like they've been exactly. told before. Yes. Like this is you saying that because they know it, but they just not applying it. Mm-hmm. And they, exactly. you've already said it in a place of love. Mm-hmm. Now you gotta talk to them in a language that they know. will understand. You gotta know, man. Stop acting like that, man. You gotta understand that you receiving greatness from real niggas. We we sliding through. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be trying to hold my greatness away from you. You, you ever you see it? To. You ever have to peek them out to. first and be like, mm-mm. They don't deserve it. They not worthy. They not worthy. Mm-mm. That's what I want to tell you, see. You I don't get none these, of this greatness. I want to tell these dudes the unpopular truth, man. I'm going to tell you the unpopular truth. Here you go. Here you Save go with some of shit. that greatness, man. These bitches don't deserve it, man. You got to understand these bitches ain't worthy of your time, bro. Ooh. They don't deserve it. Some of these bitches... How many times you're... have you fucked with the wrong person? Oh, man, I don't have a calculator with enough uh, gigabytes. <laughs> man, that, this motherfucker ain't gonna work. But do you understand that's the parallel of the universe? Some of these people that we end up dealing with was never supposed to come into our realm of possibility. Mm, really, Just really think not. about it. If you would have shut the fuck up. Exactly. So don't fuck with that bitch, man. Save yourself because she's not worthy. Does she have some money? <laughs> what does she work? You know how everybody have weird little triggers and shit? As soon as a motherfucker tell me they like me, I start investigating what the <laughs> fuck they doing. Like, you like yeah. me? Yeah, why you like me, bitch? You know oh, what the, the fuck I mean? You? Mm-mm. Let me see what you got going on in life. <laughs> What the fuck did you grow up? up? Was any power lines in your yard? You, hey man, I'm just, I'm just trying to tell these big, uh, these people the unpopular truth, man. Do you think women with little feet are sneaky? Hell yeah, hell yeah. 
Because they can I trot fast tripping. as a motherfucker. They cover, <laughs> they cover a whole lot of space, fast and shit. You know, next thing you know, your wallet gone and shit. Your watch ain't on the counter no more. Sneaky little bitch. <laughs> Talk to the I nigga. want my chain back, bitch. What would you tell a nigga who just found out he ain't the only nigga? Because these young niggas be hurt behind that. Since you got Stacey Adams on, I feel like it's more believable. Hey, man, you got to know, man. Look, man. I already know, but I want to hear from you. I'm telling you, man. You dressed apart. Look, man, my mama told me, man, woman the more woman out of love, men and women, you know, women are more low down than men. So you got to know that, man. These she bitches, said that for real? Yeah, she said that for real, man. So, you know, these bitches are sneaky, man. You know, you got to know that, dude. These bitches are lied to the end. Because if they wouldn't, man, more Povich wouldn't be a hit, nigga. <clears throat> you know what I think is cold? If your girl cheat on you and she don't have no car. <laughs> <laughs> that means she cheating with a nigga with a car or she cheating with a nigga she love a whole lot to ride the bus with. Nope. She catch, she'll catch a ride to oh, cheat yeah. on you. <clears throat> you know, she makes some other motherfuckers. She will actually pay somebody to take skin. her over there. That's why you got to stop fucking with them cousins and shit, because they know. Who could, what? That's why them cousins know, man. Them cousins know she's sucking that nigga dick. They be smiling in your face. Hey, what's up, Rondell? Nah, bitch, get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> they be happy as motherfucker. <laughs> That's fucked up how you let your homegirl do me. <laughs> Damn. Bro. Musty ass bitch. Damn. You been hurt. Bro. I been hurt, man. So look, ladies, hit but my fellas, cash out. Dollar <laughs> sign Slink Johnson. If you live with your girl and, and it's her house, and you find out she cheating, before mm -hmm. you confront her, just ask yourself, is this worth being <laughs> homeless over? <laughs> is it? Mm -mm. Some of these niggas need shelter, I so mean, they'll take I'm that saying, shit. I'm saying, she's already providing shelter, and you got the nerve to be trying to catch somebody cheating? This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Now listen here, man. I ain't gonna sit here and long talk you, bruh. If you, if you like to make love to your lady for a long, long time, this is where you need to go. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. I'm telling you, man. BlueChew.com. Use the promo code 85 South so you can get your shipment for free. All you gotta do is pay the shipping. That's like $5. Yeah, BlueChew.com. BlueChew is prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Remember them days where you used to be ready all the time, make love, even when you was tired and sleepy, you wanted to just take a nap? Uh-uh, take a BlueChew. You can go get the, all that residual stuff you've been turning down. I'm telling you, it makes it better. Use the promo code 85SELF, you get a free shipment. BlueChew.com. Make sweet love. To your lady. Yeah, I'm Clayton English. Look, student debt, get it off your head right now. I done been a part of it a long time. Now it's up off me. Ernest is offering our listeners a $100 cash bonus. Refinance your student debt at Ernest.com slash 85 South. Terms and conditions apply. It's a great time to refinance that student loan. Come on, man. Refinance your student loan. You grown. Isn't it time you stop feeling overwhelmed by your student debt? Now Ernest is giving our listeners a $100 bonus. Refinance your student loans at Ernest.com slash 85 South. Terms and conditions apply. With Ernest, you get radically flexible payments and you can pick your loan term. And if you have questions, you can even talk to a real live human at Ernest for help. Once again, you get a $100 cash bonus when you visit Ernest.com slash 85 South. Refinance your student loan. Not available in all states. Terms and conditions apply. Visit Ernest.com slash 85 South for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Ernest Student Loan Refinance made by Ernest Operators LLC and MLS. Number 1204917. California Financing Law License Number 6054788303 2nd Street Suite 401 in San Francisco, California. 94107. Visit Ernest.com licenses for full list of licenses. You just I mean, take even that if nigga. you write. You just got to take that nigga because a little fat bitch, you fucking will stay with her mama. Leave. You can't go nowhere. What if she be like, you right, I did the shit. You got to go. Now you done fucked up your whole housing situation when you could have just kept being stupid. Do we have kids there? A lot of them don't. Oh. A lot of niggas' kids don't never be oh, where they stay niggas be at. raising other niggas' kids. They do. Yeah. Niggas raise other niggas' kids better than their own kids. I don't know if these niggas is trading kids or what. 
But what if you meet a girl and she already got some kids and you like them kids more than your kids? Mm. You think that's the case? Won't nobody say this shit? Mm. <laughs> Won't nobody say it? Mm. That's fucked up, because if you What like, if a nigga really just went over there and them kids was loving him like they real dad? Good night, daddy. We love you. <laughs> yeah. That's you kinda hard. Around, forget them ain't your that, damn kids. That's kinda hard right there. That's kinda <laughs> hard. Them kids are trying good. I'm not shit. saying this about nobody personally. I'm just saying what if. That's uh, what I have to do as the moderator. Oh, that's hard, man. What, what you, if them you, kids you like was them waiting kids on their stepdaddy? What if, yeah, what if the stepkids treated that man as their real daddy All and right. they had a better environment to thrive as a father? All right, on some real nigga shit, especially if they around the same age, on some real nigga shit, <laughs> you got to find a way to integrate your kids, nigga. If you don't integrate your kids, nigga, you fraud. Nigga. Yeah, that's the right don't solution. Do don't do that, that is you the gotta, right you solution. Your kids. Do you know how many niggas have been beat up by their kids? Mm. Nigga, 16 year old son, 6'7, and knocked his ass out. That's what's fucked up. And they act like he's supposed to just. That's why I'm telling these niggas go back. To, man, you gotta get back with these kids, man. These niggas wearing these man bags and bruh, shit. Bro, they man, gotta stay on, the stop, whole bro. time, bro. Stop leaving them up. Stop. You knew that bitch was crazy in the first place. Her neck right. was dynamic. You knew and her neck was good. And if you think about it, it's niggas out here who can't even you see their kids over some shit like $150, $120, $100. Ooh. And then this niggas that old, they know they owe their baby mama a bunch of child support, nigga. And they ain't even trying to put nothing on it. Like, niggas stop, niggas start leaving niggas twenty dollars in the mailbox just to show yeah, some just effort. Stop. Yeah, exactly. Start After doing about something. eight of them, you'll build up some credit. Do some real nigga shit with her, and you might, you know, what I'm saying things might change. Come shit. on, uh, drop that. It's all the most of the time. It's about that little change, though. Or or some time. Or some time. time. Both don't of them, really. Don't be so busy. Yeah, don't be so busy. Let me smell water, man. Go smell. Hey, you got, you got it. Don't, don't be so busy, trap, that, bro. Don't be so busy that you can't go, you know, fuck with them, you know what I'm saying, some, you know, make your relationship with right, them. Right, because these kids are the future, whether yeah, you yeah. believe it or not. And if you don't, they be and they grow up fast these man bags and shit. Yeah, they grow up fast as hell. I'm tired of these niggas with these man bags and all these motherfucking accessories and shit. These niggas be bedazzled and shit. Come on, man. <laughs> And you don't think that we living in a time where niggas have way more shit than can fit in some pockets? Yeah, man, what's wrong, man? Why you niggas can't put your shit in the pocket? If you Cause ain't nobody came out with no swag bag. They ain't shit. Purses is the only option if you're a nigga with a lot of shit. I'm not making an argument either way. But no, nigga, a I backpack. See, nigga, no, that's a too easy to target. Pack. It's too easy to target. Oh, uh, man, okay. If I say it's too easy to target, I understand. That's what I'm saying. I'm at a different point in my life. Too easy to target. You see how you what's, were just saying you don't the, fuck with them what's, niggas what's with them purses and shit? What's the target, shit? man? Wear the backpack, man. Which if you, unless you're doing some, some illegal shit. And, brother, I implore you not to do no illegal shit. As an older nigga, come on, man. Don't do no. Come on, man. If don't you, do if you ain't illegal. got to, don't carry the strap in the backpack. You know what I'm saying? If you in that age, don't put yourself in that position. But don't walk around with no motherfucking merch, man. You niggas gonna grow up and shit. One day you gonna be the fathers and your kids gonna be like, hey, daddy, can I have a dollar so I can go buy some bullshit? And you gonna say, yeah, just go get it out of my purse. Just like your mama, nigga. God damn, man. Come on, man. Stop. That's fucked up, stop, man. Stop, man. You gotta stop doing that, man. These niggas need their purses, man. Y'all need to stop doing it. One day you're going to look back at these Don't pictures. Don't say y'all. I'm not buying this Not y'all. But you know, these niggas, some of these niggas is watching, man. You know, and I love you. I, you know, again, I'm... And you know, know the crazy part about it. I had to this shit. I had to teach my own son. My son, he was getting tall, wearing them skinny jeans. I had to tell him, no, you can't do it. Is he skinny? No, yeah, he's skinny. Well, you, that's who the fuck no, they No, but he's tall with big feet. When Bruh, he turns to the side, he's going to look like the letter L. Skinny jeans are for skinny people. You, that might, man, I can't agree with you right there. Man. Okay, it's the difference between skinny jeans and these fucking leotards. <laughs> Some shit you not supposed to be able to see the denomination of a motherfucking dollar bill in the nigga motherfucking pants pocket. You ain't supposed to see it. Not that shit, nigga. That shit that's when you pull it up. Like, bitch, stop. That, not that. No. See? Don't you start, that. they gonna be on your ass. I'm just saying, my nigga, you know I'm, I'm they just... they gonna be like, they, they gonna, gonna, be, on got my, down, they gonna on. be on my ass because they daddy wasn't in their life. Wow. So send their mama picture Why to you have to say that? What I'm black just saying, children? it's the... Um, it's the um, somebody, I believe the children are our future. You need your daddy in your life. 
Here I come to try to save the day via the 85 South Show. It's the uncomfortable conversation, but son, you can't do that. Okay, keep playing. You know what I'm saying? I'm Look just at that saying. Behind Chill, you. I, I love Those her. are the type of women that watch this show. I love her too, and she knows she, she ran gonna the be nigga in all your 30 inbox. years ago. I heard what That's you why said, she need to dude. hear it too. She, she ran the nigga off 30 years ago. Right. I'm trying to talk for the nigga. Now, now wait, we, baby, look, I got to talk for the When I see you doc, sitting in the living room Dontarian. with them Stacey Adams off. I'm just saying, she, she, you, that bitch don't like Stacey Adams? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. You so going to be bitch, in you there. you need to listen. <laughs> Some look, this bitch. That's them kids' mama. <laughs> well, before they was, <laughs> before they was mama, she was bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's some shit an alcoholic father would say. That's your mom, but that's my bitch. She was my bitch way before she was y'all mom. Fuck you right. Fuck she been right. my bitch longer than she been your mom. Fuck you right. You gotta fuck. That's what's wrong, man. These kids come fuck everything. Been wine drunk behind your step there. That's right. That's right, baby. Come on, let them, let them kids alone. Let them go to bed. Yeah, man. Oh man. Shout out to everybody who grew up with them alcoholics in the house. Hey, you gotta know the real character. Tell the truth though. Growing up around alcoholics was some of the funniest shit, bro. I don't know if we grew up in a pandemic or what, but I grew up around a whole bunch of, mm-hmm. whole bunch of alcoholics, bro. Mm-hmm. They was so fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's probably why I don't drink that shit now. Nah, that, that, shit, that shit evil. That shit horrified me. I, got, I, I remember I was like 13, I drank some E&J and A-Ball. We mixed it together. Damn. And that shit, that shit fucked me up forever. I don't even like the smell of beer to this day. That shit fucked me up. Damn, Slank. Bam, Slank. I can't fuck with no Irk and Jerk either. Don't, don't give me none of that shit. That's that rock gut smoking shit. Bro, if you like, time if you like was... 20 something and drink Irk and Jerk, nigga, you got a bad life, nigga. You got a. Last time I got drunk, I was in Hawaii. I couldn't find no weed. And I had drunk all this crown at the strip club. And then I went to the room and laid down in that motherfucking bed. Just kept spinning around that room all goddamn night. Then I woke up that morning and that bitch was still spinning around, but I was woke now and I was looking like, oh shit, I'm still fucked up. I couldn't even sleep at all. I was like, if I could make it to the bathroom and make it back, I'm straight. But as soon as I stood up, I was like, fuck, I'm all the way fucked up again. Got up too fast. It was, it was the worst experience. I don't fuck with that shit no more. That's why you just smoke weed, man. I, I don't do. understand it. I don't understand. I think he got a ringtone. I think he must have just got out of jail. Who that? My His guy phone ring and play a song. Who that? Man, play me some pimping, man. We got to get ready to wrap this well, shit up. Play some pimping, man. Play some too short, man. <laughs> we, on, we over here, man. Man, I, see, I got you another joint. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I can't smoke no more right now. I'm about to say this. But I'm going to wake up in the morning like, man, this nigga Carlos cool as fuck. <laughs> I'm saying I'm high, man. I've been teetering all night. I hope they edit that shit right, because they're going to be like, is that nigga Slink on coke? You high? I'm, I'm, I've been teetering, man. That's some bomb-ass <laughs> weed right there, man. That shit got me feeling real, uh, that shit got me feeling real. Have some water, man. Smoke you I've been drinking some of that water. It's nice to stay hydrated, because you know what I'm saying? That's what niggas need, a little hydration and shit to help out. You know what I'm talking about? Keep your skin looking right. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I'm like 61 years old right now. Who? Me. 61? I just turned like 61. You did? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, nigga. That's right. <laughs> this nigga is not 61, bro. The All fuck right. is wrong? <laughs> I did Maybe a lot. he might be. I don't I'm just saying, I did a lot of my motherfucking life. Me, I don't fucking know. I'm Bro, just saying, man. You, you know, 61? Yeah, man. Nigga, get like, your oh. ass out of here, man. Nigga, 61. I'm just saying. You 61 man. or 6 foot 1? I'm 61 <laughs> years old, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm you just done said a lot man, of bullshit tonight, but I don't I'm believe it. I'm just saying, it. I just make it look good. You know what I'm talking there about? There ain't no fucking way, bro. You ain't got to believe it, you know? You ain't got to believe it. Nigga, how the fuck old am I? At what point did we record this? When you get 61, nigga? Man, I'm 61 years old, man. Been you remember that shit? Yeah, hey, I've been putting it down for a long time. I'm trying nigga, to tell you, Nigga, you was putting it down on the first day if you 61. 
I'm you just start to putting you. it down right after I'm freedom, to celebrate nigga. my age, celebrate for the seniors. It's about time, you know what I'm saying? Where my little station and shit. Bro, stop bullshitting I so much, I go to Waffle bro. House and get the senior citizen deal and shit. <laughs> That's why you doing that. It's 61. Yeah. Ain't no way you up at this hour if you 61. How you still woke? Nah, because I had went to sleep at 5. <laughs> I took a nap from five to seven, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? You just gotta be young and vivacious and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm really feeling that two chain song, you know what I'm saying? Why you rolling on your legs? You gotta keep keep your shit, keep your shit, keep your circulation going when you get my age. You gotta keep your circulation going when you get my age. You know what I'm talking about? Keep a little circulation going. I'm like two chains, you know? Old enough to be your daddy, young enough to fuck your mama. You know what I'm talking about? I heard you know, that. Slide in, see how niggas' mama's doing a little bucket of chicken or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just you know be posted up him and another nigga just in that bitch. a few bags of hot Cheetos for you. You know, you be happy and shit because you ain't seen your daddy. You be happy I come through with the new little game and shit. I got the little PS5 I bought from the Mexican and shit. You be happy. You got a, a plug on him? Yeah. The Mexican, you know. Why? Don't expose the plug, bro. No, nah, that name is fictitious. I, know. I never exposed the plug. Nigga ain't even really Mexican and shit. I really buy from Best Buy because I'm a nice nigga. But they miss the Mexican dude work there though. You know what I'm saying? I just make it sound good. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm in the trap. You know what I'm talking about? I got the collar shirt on. I don't live my life as such. Hey, bro, you listen to Marvin Gaye? Yeah, yeah. Trouble, Trouble man, man, one of my favorite joints right now. Remember, I was going through it with Irene at that time. That had me going bad, you know what I'm talking about? Talk about it. You on the couch. Mm. <laughs> Irene was good. She made a good pot of gumbo. She came to Shreveport. Right. She came to Shreveport, little green-eyed thing, real good to me. You know what I'm talking about? I thought she put a spell on me. Real good to me. She what ended me... up happening with her? Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I lost my job at the mill, you know what I'm saying? And she ended up messing with this uh, light-skinned boy named Malcolm down the street. You know what I'm talking about? Malcolm had a brand new car. What kind I, of car was it? A little Pontiac. <clears throat> it was I told fresh. her I'd get a car one day. It was fresh? It was fresh. It was fresh. Nice, nice. I never hated on it. I told him it was a nice car. Right. That's a nice car. <coughs> you know? You told that to the nigga that stole your girl? <clears throat> she wasn't never my girl in the first place because right. she went over to her. Right. So you know that's when you, that's when things changed. Bro. That's when things changed. You know what I'm talking about? Game got cold. Game got cold. Ice cold, baby. Ice cold. That's when photo stasis came in my life. That's when I saw when I was just. I'm gonna tell you when my game got ice cold. Tell me when. Bro, I came to the basketball game one mm. one night, and I was walking up, and then I saw my girl. She had this big ass coat on, and I was like, damn, that coat big as hell, but I couldn't see the other side. So we were sitting there watching the game, and then I looked up. We was in high school and shit. And I looked up and I saw the nigga playing. His name was on the jacket. I just got up and mm. went and sat on the other side. Mm. Oh, he, he took your bitch. Bro, it was, that's, the, that's some shit you learned in ninth grade, though. Like, I was warming the pussy up. Because I couldn't get it. I wasn't driving after this game. His nigga, he got a whole beard and a Jeep and everything. He supposed to be getting to Yeah, he's supposed to I just be. got to high school. I ain't paid no dues. Mm. That's cold. I got blood. I'm getting picked up right after this. <laughs> I'm at that phase of the game. You know, 15 oh, yeah. probably the worst age ever because you like old enough to drive, but you ain't old enough to legally drive. Yeah. Like when you 15 and you know how to drive, you're like, fuck this whole year. I ain't gonna do shit. I'm just gonna sleep until I'm old enough to get my life. <laughs> Cause all the pussy just be yeah. like mobile and you just walking and getting dropped off and picked up. That's fucked up, man. You know That's what when saying? you don't really get no pussy until you get a car. Nah, you don't. Everything you get up to that point is you know, coochie. Or unless you got curly hair like the nigga Damon down the street. <clears throat> I remember I was 10 years old, man. The girl Shatira, man. She's a little light skin. Wait, this thing. story, you can't legally even tell this story no more. It's 2021. Bro, you know they were canceling Oh, yeah, this that was shit. 19. Yeah. I'm going to keep that to myself. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> They'll bring that shit up. Latera probably is the... She was a cold piece, though. She probably is a business she woman a now. Piece. She don't want you telling nothing you did behind uh, your auntie house. Girl, I'm going to tell you, if you look at this, you made a cold player, baby. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Somebody gonna find that shit and be like, Auntie Latrice, <laughs> this man with these church shoes on. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta wear the little church shoes though, you know what I'm saying? It's just sometimes it's cool because you gotta put the little tap on it, you know what I'm saying, in the trap. Bring some little, you know, bring some good, good uh elder statesmanly Man. game in the trap, you know what I'm saying? That's what I say. I fuck with you for wearing them because it just made everything you say so much more believable. Man, you gotta understand, you know what I'm talking about? I've been I've been around for a minute, man. I've been around many moons, you know what I'm talking about? And I've been doing this shit, man. What was this shit like 61 years ago? Man, this shit was, it, it shit was groovy, man. It was outstanding. It was way more real because we had the social media to compete with, man. You had to see a nigga to, to, to see what it's about. Right. You know what I'm talking about? You couldn't just stunt like that. You had to see a nigga to see what it's Don't about. Don't act like social media ain't the shit. Social media is, is the shit, true. but it's, it's, the, it's shit. the shit. It's, it's the shit. It's authentic. You little bitch Bruh. with this silhouette challenge. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I'm just saying, though, this shit is the shit, though, man. But y'all, motherfuckers be using it wrong, man. Motherfuckers quit telling on yourselves and shit, man. Stop doing that shit, man. It's enough cameras at 7-Eleven and on street corners, man. You ain't got to report your own crimes and shit, man. You got that shit. Have that shit, man. God damn. I don't know why the fuck these niggas go do some illegal ass shit and get right online and talk about it. It's just why? like, hey, look at me. That's what I'm saying. I want to tell you, daddy ain't never told you, you dickhead, man. Wow. I just want to come through and just, I love you. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to be hated. I want to be loved for the mother. Somebody I'm 85% need to write that of myself. Book. Your I'm dad just, ain't never told you, but you a dickhead. You a dickhead, my nigga. You need some real motherfucking love and guidance. This was wrong with some of you niggas, man. Your mama's done pussified your ass wow. and shit, man. Don't say that. You niggas don't know how to change tires or nothing. Gonna hurt these niggas, niggas feelings. Do shit, my nigga. Niggas don't even get Every, dirty no more. Niggas don't get dirty. Everything automated and shit, man. If you you ain't gotta get dirty, you can be clean. You can be a clean nigga, but if you ain't willing to get dirty for the right shit, nigga, use a bitch. <clears throat> Just what I'm saying. These niggas ain't even ready to get metaphorically dirty. No, not at all. Not at all. See, that's why niggas don't be having shit. Because niggas don't want to do what niggas done done to do what niggas do. Well, I'm just saying, man. Niggas want you to feed them and give them shit all the time. Y'all niggas got to stop doing There's that shit. There's a lot of hungry niggas out here. We all hungry, B. Come, come on. We all hungry. I'm hungry as a motherfucker. See? How you think I stay on my grind? Because I stay so fucking hungry. And you hear how this nigga I'm talking? I'm so fucking hungry. And you hear how this nigga I'm talking? I'm a fucking beast. If Do you, you understand a, me? If you had a nigga in your life that put a bucket of chicken on the table sometimes, you wouldn't talk me. like that. Listen, listen. I did it all. I did it all. I don't give a fuck. I made french fries late at night. I made burgers. <laughs> I did shit people didn't want to do. I took the fucking chances delivering pizzas to all over the neighborhood. I fucking did that. I drove those fucking trucks. You don't know about that fucking shit. See, now nah, that's... I, I went to that fucking fire academy. Huh? Who fucking did that? I was going to risk my life for you, cocksuckers. Can you imagine that dying for these ungrateful motherfuckers? See? And Not that, me, baby. Uh-uh. That's what some of your daddy should have told you, motherfucker. Hey, hey. <laughs> I can't save your life. Mother had a motherfucker. Understand that. that I can do this shit all weekend. I'm saying, nigga. Y'all niggas, man. I'm going to come. I'm going to hey, come Hey, when school, you speak niggas. on the moolies, it really makes me mad. The fucking. Oh, yeah. The fucking moolies, the man. The fucking moolies. I know a few of them. I know a lot of them. I know, I know a lot of bad motherfuckers that do good sometimes and think that we're going to forget that they bad motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to remind a nigga, man. I don't. I don't want to be that person. I stay away from as many people as I possibly can mm -hmm. out of love. Because I love the fuck out of a lot of people, but I don't need to see you all the time. But you, but you know, you love, you remind a motherfucker about doing the best you can. You got to always shine on a motherfucker. You all not shine, not necessarily you out to stun on a nigga, but you do the absolute best you can to be the absolute best right. you are. Be the absolute best you, you. And whoever hates you is going to see that, and they're going to fucking wither in that motherfucking presence of that shit. I tell a so lot of people, like you, the man. Indians told the pilgrims, though, man. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah. I'm sure there was a Native American trying to trick them white people into leaving. Absence and inaccessibility. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to just get away. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. motherfucker, gotta, you got to leave in order for people to miss you. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's Take why some of you need to be hanging outside. out in the hood too much. We get, <clears throat> look here, man. Get you some money. I'm going to just go ahead and tell you. You do not get no credit for being in the hood. No, you don't, man. Get you some money and... and Nigga, come on, when you get some money, man, do some right things with it, get man. Get you, you some Stacey Adams. You can, 
Get you some Stacy. You can love that shit to death, man. But you know, you know. I'm gonna wear some Stacy Adams on the episode. You better, motherfucker. <laughs> Cause get I got some, some I got a new pair put up. I just didn't know at what point in my life I'd be ready. To get you some of these right to. here, my nigga. Get you some of these right here, my nigga. Let and then let me see, let me check let me this. Zone, Old nigga time, rules too. You can yeah. wear them bitches literally with anything, let me right? Get this zone, it don't matter you what the fuck else you got on. You, know you can wear Nike, Nike Tech sweats just like these and them <laughs> and them <laughs> fucking Stacy Adams go she right with it. Them. You know what I'm talking about? Look at look, look at your mama. Look at these, now okay. look at your mama. <clears throat> Look at these, now look at your mama. Had I known that's what we were doing tonight, I'd be on some whole nother other shit. You better, I yeah. had the same outfit on with some motherfucking Charlie Chaplin's on. <laughs> nigga, you better know it, nigga, in the trap, Round nigga. toed Oxfords. On Ain't nigga. nobody came in the trap with no stations on? No, you the first one. Nigga, you better fucking know it, nigga. Take this picture, bitch. <clears throat> You see them motherfuckers? Can you get a zoom right here? Send that to a nigga mama for Valentine's Day. <laughs> you, st a, you stay on a nigga mama. I'm gonna come on. Come you gonna man. get it, Widow. I'm telling you, this these 85 percenters go hard. It's a whole lot of mamas and shit I'm out sure there. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do, and they I know they lonely. They not though. They are, man. They so cheaters. Mean. Yeah, they are, they happy with the nigga they got. Yeah, yeah these they just need to, a, need to plan a weekend what, getaway. Well, to get away with a nigga sometimes, I might offer some guidance, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that little side shit be keeping the motherfucking relationship steady and balanced. Sometimes. First of all, when have you ever known hoes to listen? <clears throat> you could be saying the best shit in the world. They just have selective hearing. I'm just going to scream it from the mountaintop because I feel like these hoes, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> These hoes aspire to do better, man, and I just want to make the world better, you know what I'm saying, by telling these hoes, act right. I've been doing some extensive research, and I found out, you know, just by my study, the average hoe can only hear key words. So it don't matter what you're saying, and she only right. going to hear right. certain little pieces, income, money. <laughs> I live by myself. She just really can hear all the things that you can do for her. You're right. right, you're right. <clears throat> it ain't got shit to do with what you're saying, but it's all about your verbiage. Well, I'm going to drill it into their head, man. Cause I'm kind of, sometimes I'm a, like a real nigga drill sergeant, bitch. You need to know. You know what I'm saying? You're out of line. You know what I'm saying? You need to go in there and do something right with your I life. appreciate how you, uh, you know, you never gave up on them. No, you, I'm you the can't. type of motherfucker who is like, I'm not, I'm not trying to change no direction that a hoe going in life. Mm. But I don't, you know, I don't even want to be a stop on her journey no more. Mm. I try to give them the best guidance. I'm like, I see where you headed, and don't let me, don't let me hinder you. Because the, the whole aspirations that you have, there's no way you should be at my gas station of love. You should be running full steam, mm. baby. Mm. You are a phoenix. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And then they come back to reality, and they need that bucket of chicken. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, you ever seen a hoe go on a good run? Oh man, they going, they, they going on some great ones. These bitches is going on some great runs, like like right now. These transformer hoes, they oh, turn no, into all no. types of shit, man. No, they no, going on great hard. No, no. But bitch, I hope you bitches keeping your money up. No, no, no. These bitches, you better get your money up because that shit ain't gonna be the same in fifty, bitch. I hope. Them injections, you gotta keep them up every three years, bitch. You better get that Why shit. Why you gotta talk about the Builder Bears? <laughs> Cause it's the elephant in the room. These bitches out. These bitches out here shaped like motherfucking fucked up wine goblets and shit, oh man. It's right. Some of that life shit looks so painful. This shit ain't cool, bitch. You gonna be 50 one day, bitch, and that shit is not gonna be cool. Ooh. You better have your money up because it ain't your body ain't gonna match that shit. I'm, sc I'm scared to see what's gonna happen. I'm scared too. Because ain't gonna be no Social Security, no Medicare mm -mm. when we get old as fuck. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? The ass is just gonna fall off one day. Mm -mm. Smooth. I'm talking about smooth. Smooth. Mm -mm. It ain't gonna require <laughs> no kind of medical attention. It's just gonna fall. It's gonna be, be a smooth up. ass. Smoothness. This bitch's ass is gonna fall down they leg, down the back of their legs. They gonna shit. have they gonna, ankles. They have ass, ass all on their ankle. <laughs> full of ass. Walking around with ass right. Ass ankles. Ankles got ass like a motherfucker. <laughs> bitch have pancake backs. 
That shit ain't gonna be cool if it don't. And they gonna have a whole documentary, a whole show about this shit on TLC. Dr. Anchor ass. (laughs) Stop doing that to yourself. All she do is get that fucking ass pieces at your feet. I keep telling you, bitch, your natural features is the best. Stop doing that shit to yourself. What if the fake titties just just permanently? Like, what if fake titties start sagging like real ones? Mm. Like, they just sagging in the body. Like, you just, that, it's, that it's that like navel, two yeah. titties right there. That look and they just up. won't Like move. a bitch got two softballs in her belly just walking right. around. It's just <laughs> nasty as fuck, man. Just little flaps and shit of meat just I've been concerned around. about this shit. And yeah. then, you know, they got new titties and shit that come out every year. So, like, if you got some titties five years ago, they kind of like, You got to keep them motherfuckers up. You yeah. got to update them titties. And I hope you still got the same job, bitch. They got some smooth-ass shit where they just, like, go... They go all kind of ways to get in them titties now. It don't matter. Stop doing that, ladies, because niggas going to still suck them. It don't, it don't That's what I've been saying. It, it don't we need variety. This doctor who doing these asses and shit, they putting the same ass on everybody, and you not built for that kind of ass. You not. And, and, and But what they be like, well, I just want to do it for me. We'll do it for you. Buy the ass that you think you deserve. And that shit is not cool, bitch. That shit is not cool. It don't look right. Okay. It don't look right on you. You gotta step yo, yo, yo. Wait, the niggas start yourself, getting man. dick surgery. You think niggas buy big rims? Mm. <laughs> Nigga can't wait to fuck the shit. Yeah, I just put thirty inches in a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked the bitch eyeball mm. out. Hit my only fan. Y'all call, that's some cold Mr. shit. Mr. Underscore 30 inches in a bitch. They ain't got that shit already. <laughs> what is it called? 30 inches in a bitch. They ain't got that Bro, shit already. Bro, what you saying? What? 30 inches. All right, my bad. I, I, got, I went crazy with that. They ain't got that shit, man. I just put All 30 that shit inches. Up. Stop doing that shit, man. I keep telling Everybody you. Everybody gonna have surgery here in a minute. You niggas gonna have pus coming out your dickhead. That shit is nasty as fuck. You bitches That's gonna, gonna last for three to six weeks. But after that... Thirty inches. They gonna have all kind of little rehab houses and shit. They gonna have a lady come out and rub all thirty inches of your oh. shit. <laughs> you healing so fast. <laughs> <laughs> you be thirty inches in a bitch in no time. They got a nice one. <laughs> so Damn. that's how I do it. Just yeah, just grab the sides and you can kind of go up and you can come back down. That's, that's Three to six lie, weeks. Man. 30 inches. All right. How would you transport 30 inches of dick? Would you curl it up or would uh-uh. you wrap it around your leg? Nope. Would you like, would you wrap I it in a little I have a swing like with a, a skateboard wheel on uh, it. Uh, <laughs> this is how I do it. <laughs> and I have, it, I have most of it in a bucket. <laughs> it's going to be it's a, going to be like a mop bucket. Just <laughs> dick all in it. Is on her. <laughs> See, I feel me. I think I wrap that shit around my head and turn it and shit. I still want to be hands free. I'll keep my shit tucked in an American flag. You be dickhead for real. <laughs> 30 inches. <laughs> Could you imagine 30 inches of dick? Nah, I ain't gonna never, never be able to think of no stupid shit like that. But it's coming. Hey, I'm close, man. I'm like 26. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just a clown. I'm just talking shit. You know what I'm saying? She was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, for on some real shit, ever since all these allegations and shit been happening, niggas don't even do dick jokes no more. That shit is, is on a that whole nother level. That shit sucks, level. man. You know what I'm saying? That shit sucks ass, you know? That shit sucks, man. There's some, some horrible shit going on, and man, we need to stop, man. Well, let, let the comics be comics, though. Hey, man. You motherfuckers keep your hands yourself. That's why I say I want to come talk to some of you niggas because you niggas need to know to keep your fucking hands to yourself and respect these women for who the fuck they are. You, you saw that you? shit? Oh, that, that shit that happened in New York or some shit? There's so much shit happening. I don't even watch TV too much. It's, it's, me either. It's so much shit it just happening. been so much badass it's, news. You know, and the social media fucked me up because I, I realized this. We so desensitized to death because we got to deal with death in our own lives. But we look at social media now. We know everybody we follow on social media. So it'd be like, shit, when they post somebody that die, shit, we feel that too. You know what I'm saying? So you seeing that four, five, 12 times a motherfucking week. You desensitized to that shit, man. And nigga just tired of that shit, man. Damn. I stay away from that TV, all that shit, man. 
I'll be on Instagram, though. I'll be looking at the silhouette challenge, though. You say, you like well, that shit? That's it. It'd be all right sometimes. Shit. I'll be trying to see if I see nipple, though. You bitches don't really be naked. Get naked. It, you nipples do going extinct. Don't nobody have pointy nipples no more. <sighs> the nipple is a rare. It's, it's, it, nipple ain't respected as it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? They, they come in so many varieties and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like the, it's like the receptacle of love. You know what I'm mm. talking about? You put your mouth on her, you communicating with her. You know what I'm saying? You're explaining to her, you know what I'm saying? Expressing to her your love in a rhythmic pattern when you suck in that titty. You know what I'm saying? You suck in that titty. You, everybody suck different, you know what I'm saying? And that's how you communicate and she understands. That's what you say, okay, baby. Okay, baby, I'm going to cook that tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? She knows just what's going on when you suck in that titty. You know what I'm saying? It's unspoken language. All, it's and all, it's just to hear you speak on that ministry right there. You know what I'm saying? That titty. That's, the, that's the work that I've been doing from state to state and coast to coast. Just, nobody loves titties more than love. You've been doing a great job. And I, and I know, once, then I've been trying to express to these young men, if you suck in her titty and she holds your head, as such, mm -hmm. as she's cradling. Right, she's that's nurturing. That's, that's nurturing. Love. That's how you know. That's how you know she got. You got a good one right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got a good one right there. So you know you got to understand certain things you do. Certain things you could do. Yeah, man. And you got to suck each titty equally. Equally. And if you don't lick around the nipple. If First you of all, you gotta lick. You gotta lick titties, like you said, titties gotta be warmed up too. They it's, had a long it's like, bre it's like braille too. And they had a lot of false alarms. Titties, yes, titties yes, be hard. Yes, nipples yes, be hard about yes. three, four, Especially seven times weather. a day. Especially in this they don't weather. know if it's the real thing or not. Titties, what? What happened? Somebody in here? Who's was cold. What happened? What? They just what? waiting for we you. We got come. Who's that? Who's this man? Who's this man? Yeah. They just waiting for that mouth to dock on that titty. You know that mouth dock like a phone charger on that titty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just be liking that motherfucker, that shit die. Yeah, because ah, yeah, you know a hard nipple will bring out so much unprofessionalism. Mm -hmm. Cause you never know how to take that. Mm -hmm. It used to be a sign of flirting. Now it's like, and when you, and you know, when you a G, you know, a lot of times niggas see them pointed, niggas see them nipples like this. When you a real G, them nipples be like this. You know what I'm saying? What happened? You know, that's why they going down. You know. They're young, the motherfucker sagging, you know what I'm saying? They're going down a little bit, pointing towards gravity, and that's how you know she a down bitch. I like that. You know that's, what I'm real, that's real inconsistent, because sometimes women be in a hurry and they have to tuck them titties mm -hmm. different, so the nipple might be. I think, I think in the course of the day, you know, they've been a shift to them, you know what I'm saying? It depends on where you see her, at what point I agree. Right. But I think at the course of the day, you know, the, 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 the titties have to be cradled perfectly. So I she think gonna women fix don't it. understand she like, gonna fix the it. leniency that we give a titty. Like, titty got a whole lot of playroom. Titty is, titty is so undervalued and right. unappreciated. Titty like cable. Like, they don't understand how many channels you go, we'll you, actually you go watch. You there and you just see it and you just like, okay, whatever. You just flip your fuck it. I want to watch the game. Nigga, you got cable right there. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to appreciate and value that, man. The titties is, look, we love them titties. You know All what of saying? them. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Big you, ones, small you're ones. You're a real nigga. You lick under some the titties. Big as your when head. she got some hand, you push the titty up and you lick under the, the salty titty. right there? Yes, you lick a little salt. That's a real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I know. That's the, you gotta look under that, under that motherfucker. Yes, yes. You gotta That's how you under. get to a heart. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes. You talking, you right there to it. You know what I'm saying? You can hear that motherfucker beat like, yes, bitch, I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You lick under. If you sometimes ain't really got I get, no sometimes I like to get under the titty, like I'm working on it. Oh yeah. I be That's I put the whole titty, titty in well, my that face. That motherfucker off like, your face like this and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's the, oh, yeah, but I, I be like up that. under that bitch like a mechanic, like, mm -hmm. like I'm working on it. Yeah, that's what I say, man. I ain't you know? mean to tell y'all that because I know a lot of y'all young and niggas ain't been under a titty And when before. you say up under, when you say up under, that that sounds like to me a, a, a lady of a substantial size to be up under. Because if it's you the, up it's under, more about it, the size of the titty. If you up under, that too. But it, I was just want to speak on, you know, some some the, uh, on the big BBW. ass titty first. Yeah, you start out with a BB, big ass titty more oftenly found on right. the BBW, because you know when you got a little bit, you ain't up under her. She on top of you. She like a little bitty shawl or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she like a motherfucking towel, a throw rug or something. You ain't under that. She, she on top of you. Right. You got a big bitch. You know what I'm saying? A big body. You know what I'm talking about? You get right. up under that. You ain't got up under a big body. You know what I'm talking about? You young niggas don't understand. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and that's what people been yelling out for years, man. Whatever size they are, we still want to see them. I want to see them all, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand. 
You appreciate it, baby. You ain't got to do that to yourself. All that motherfucking build a body and shit. Stop mm -mm. doing that. Mm -mm. We take them pancakes. They, I, I appreciate them flat cheeks. Mm. Them, flat, them flat cheeks make me value that bubble differently. <laughs> Sometimes you, you look at that bubble and be like, oh, you get tired of that bubble. Like, damn, where's, you know, where's the flat cakes? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it be like that. Hey, Amen. You know what I'm saying? I, I hated that, like, this whole image has made so many insecurities mm. in our community. Mm. Everybody don't look, need everything. Look here, but I promise, ladies, if all y'all went on strike and didn't get your hair and nails done, niggas still won't fuck. We still gonna fuck. Because we know that, that that pussy when the hair ain't done, it way different. <laughs> oh, it be good. What you need yeah, a dude, You be feeling good and shit. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Good. That's you different. gonna throw that pussy and shit because you humbled. You down to earth and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You just, you reminded that we all equal. Sometimes you feel better than that bitch uh, Keisha down the street. You know what I'm saying? Because she got the 94 Jetta and you got the new shit, bitch. But you ain't shit. Nah, you know, every time I get something and I ain't done, I be like, yep, this is what my granddad and them were doing. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you, you get, get to, to the see, essence of You it. get to the essence. Because if you ain't going to see that all the time, yeah, it's nice to meet you at your best. You got to, but, but bitch, I'm talking about where it get better from there. That's why I say the stupidest shit because... Bitch, if you still like me, if I say the stupid shit, I like you. Because it gets better from there. Yeah. Where does it get better for you? If I meet you in the club and you got your best on and you popping and this and that, this and that, what happens when I, when I need you on April 13th? You ever and had you just some African in? pussy and be like, see, if they would have left us alone, I would have been getting this the whole thing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm still trying to find a bitch. You know, hey, bitch. SG, hit me up. I love how you just know she watched this. Yeah, I know the bitch because you know she 85% of she got to be. Bro. Hey! Those are some of my favorite people. She got to be. As, SG, hit me up. You know, she's your boy, man. You know what I'm talking about? I got four more kids now. <laughs> well, there you have it. I'll just be trying. I'll just be clowning and talking shit, man. You that's know, all, we, here, that's man, all we ever do over here, man. Because this podcast right here is for niggas who order food and forget that they ordered the mm. shit and leave it outside. Oh, that's like that at my spot right there. The motherfucking Postmates just leave it right there. That's how we gonna eat tonight, nigga. They just leave it right there in the lobby like niggas ain't gonna take that food. I'm gonna eat that shit. That's how you get down? I, I don't give a fuck, y'all. Damn, bro. I'm going, nigga, you slipping, nigga, because I know when it, I man. order mine, I'll be out there five minutes early like John. <laughs> Bro, you 61. You ain't quick as you used to be, man. I just look like that. You, you know too what I'm saying? Obvious, I'm deceptively bro. fast. You too obvious. They're going to be like, I, that's who why took your food? They nigga, who's the blue ass? That, that, that's that's why. Look here. Look here. Let me, show, let me see Stace. And come here. Come here, Shady. Look here. When, they, when, they, when, they, when the police come, they're going to say, when they, when they base it on assumption, <laughs> <laughs> when they base it on the assumption, who took the food? <laughs> Damn. Thank you, bro. <laughs> when they base it on the substance, who took the food? Huh? No, man. Look, look, look. who took the food? Hey, hey, you took the food with those stations on. <laughs> no, officer, I have license and insurance. I got to take the, the food on. Ask him if he got a license. Damn. That's your son. Nah, that, that's my partner, man. That's my partner in crime right there, Shady Chris. He just gives a motherfucker. He probably fucked some of these niggas' mama, too. <laughs> this nigga's a cold nigga. He told me a story about how he fucked her. How old was she, 61? You were 17? Yeah, I was 24. Oh, you a janky-ass nigga. I swear to God. 24. You probably still run with that nigga right now, huh? His this partner. nigga said he was 24. Ooh, I'll tell you. He fucked the lady that was 62. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you got to know, man. You, gotta, you don't be thinking of older women in that realm and shit, man. And niggas be calling me, niggas tell me all the time, Slink, you the youngest old nigga I know. And I'm like, I'm with that, you know what I'm saying? But you 61. I know, I know these niggas' mamas, though. <laughs> you 61? I know these niggas, I'm 61, and I know these niggas, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, before she was your mama and shit, all wholesome and shit, baking brownies and shit, dropping you she? off in practice and caring about you and shit, she was a sloppy little bitch. I know her. How you figure that? I know these niggas' Let mamas, see, man. How you do the math on that? I know mm. these niggas' mamas, man. Bro, I, they be changing. I know these niggas' mamas, you know what I'm saying? Lil' Kyle. Bruh, you gonna say his name? 
fuck? What the fuck is you on right now, bro? I don't now, give a fuck, man. I just want to, you know bro, what I'm saying? Bro, don't do that nigga like that, bro. I just want niggas to know, man, you know? you Because it might be the wrong look cow, bro. That nigga ain't never going to look at his mama the same. I'm just saying, my nigga. You gonna humble interrupt. yourself too. You gotta know the way you treat these women. I'm just trying to tell you, you know. Who? Your mom was thoughtly out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was real thoughtly out here, real friendly with that trim. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> real forthcoming with that trim out here, <laughs> blowing niggas down at the Burger King parking lot, and shit, in '94 and shit, Tupac Bruh. banging and shit. Got my hand on the top of the suburban, getting knocked down and shit. <laughs> That's your mama, nigga. Bruh. Bruh. That's your mama, nigga. You said, Lord, nigga down. You said she was forthcoming with? She was forthcoming with that top. <laughs> bitch told me, nigga, I, 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 bitch, I don't believe you. I, I got some bomb ass that bitch showed me. OK, dumb ass bitch. <laughs> Thank you. And it wasn't even a bomb. <laughs> that shit was just OK. I'm telling you niggas, humble yourself, because you know. He the been way doing this shit for 61 years. The way y'all be exposing these women and shit, and the women you be exposing yourself, stop doing that, because we all got past them. I'm just trying, I'm just here to tell you one day you're going to be older and you're going to feel different about some shit. You're going to be like, damn. You know what I'm talking about? So just stop doing that shit, just, or at least stop doing it on camera, because you know, niggas know your mama. <laughs> niggas know your mamas, man. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> So I'm you saying fuck. all the niggas who online acting a motherfucking fool, it's a whole bunch of niggas who used to fuck their mama like. Niggas. Boy, I knew that boy wasn't going to be shit. Niggas, man, your mama, man, your mama was out here, man. I'm just trying to say, she cool when she, what, 42 now? Tell them what year they would have to be born in and to let them know their mama was really out here. Ooh, the, you know, I'll be honest with you, your mama had to be, like, really, like, like, 87 <laughs> to, like, them the high years. <laughs> Like, really, the hot years was the early 90s, like Pac. Yeah, when Pac came along, that shit was bumping shit a lot. So if you was born in, say, 93, 94. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely man. 95, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your mama, hey, nigga, your nigga's mama's got double-jointed necks and jaw bones like boy constrictors, nigga. This guy here just, <laughs> business is out here just, just necking niggas down. You know what I'm saying? Niggas' mamas and shit. Relax, stop talking about old niggas like, cause you know niggas know your mamas and shit, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> your aunties and shit, niggas know them at the same time. You know so, what I'm saying? So if a nigga was born in 98, <laughs> mm, oh shit, your mama was a no-limit soldier. <laughs> <laughs> she was getting knocked out and shit, this motherfucking lack by D boy. <laughs> she only married Earl because he had a job at the longshoreman. This bitch, she knew he was going to do something with his life, nigga. She knew it wasn't no future with niggas like me. Come on, man, stop. Oh, man. Knocking your mama down. She know. She'll act like, who? Slink Johnson. Now, bitch, that bitch know who Lamar Davis is. Wow. <laughs> knock, knock, nigga. <laughs> that's all for coming to nigga's house. Knock, knock. Ooh, that's a nice ass. Ooh, that 85 South Show got some nice shit. This ain't that motherfucking Ikea shit. This nah. is wood. Now, this is handmade by African American, mm. man. That's nice. Well, so, salute to them. That's some nice ass shit. 85 South Show. That's the shit. kind of shit that real niggas buy for your mama that stay in your house forever <laughs> so that the nigga she with remember because she can't throw it away because it's too nice. So that nigga got to look at it all the time. Damn, that nigga bought that shit. Yeah, my feet used to be on that motherfucker. Your mama. I hit your mama on the, ooh, with the light too. I hit your mama on, that's when niggas had water beds and shit. Niggas knock your mama in, in the water bed. You know what I'm talking about? Before she had that slut gut and that little motherfucker and that little light <clears throat> whiskers around her mustache. Nigga know your mama and shit. Hey, Nigga bro. know your mama when she had all her, before your daddy stressed her out. Nigga probably was fucking your mama till like 04. Bruh. I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell these niggas, man. Nigga probably was knocking your mama down to 04. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Bumping her shit, yep. So if they was born in 05, 
It was some of my hot years. I the schedule was busy around that time. Damn, Slink. You yeah. fucked him up with that one. I'm just saying, though, you know, niggas, I gotta relax. I be trying to be cool with niggas, but you know what I'm saying? Niggas will fuck your mama, you know what I'm saying? They're still at it, you know what I'm saying? She's still on nigga Instagram and shit. What? That's that should be a reality TV Talking show. About, nigga go on there with his mom. They got all, all the old, the, she, all the old. That's fucked up. She know all Stop the scriptures shit like now. This. She know all the scriptures <clears> now. <throat> she know all the scriptures now. But that bitch, she's a thuggish, ruggish bone. <laughs> that, that bitch knew all. That bitch knew all them words, word for word. Rapping busy bone part. Yeah, especially busy bone part. Getting knocked down with the little ponytail to the side. Yeah, some of you niggas' mamas got. Some of you niggas' mama know a few of the homies and shit. I'm just saying, though. I'm cool with these niggas, man. Just, niggas, watch how you talk to a nigga. That's all I be saying. You know, I be laughing with you niggas, but you know, watch how you be talking to a nigga because a nigga might know your mama. <laughs> Y'all, I, I mean, Los, I don't, you know, I'm pretty sure you know some niggas' mamas you might not want to talk about. But I don't not, know nobody's niggas, mama. Some of you niggas. I do know your mama. I went to high school with your mama. She was pregnant in fourth period. All right, well, I tell you what, you. You remember 2020 was a pandemic and your mama lost her job, but you got that PS5. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, we kind of tight around the house. She stayed with the good cereal, the Kellogg's, not that shit in the bag, you know what I'm saying? She had the good shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Nice little shit. You know what I'm talking about? You know how sometimes you come home from school and shit? <laughs> Mom's in a good mood. In the box. It, man, that shit is right there for you. You don't ask no questions. You just play. But you just disrespect the old Mr. Earl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be generous to him at all. You know what I'm saying? You just call him an old coot. <laughs> What's up, Chad? You just call Mr. Earl an old coot. <laughs> Chad mm -hmm. ain't never had to go through that. Mr. Earl done fucked your mama. Damn. Yeah, I'm just saying though. He was, Brett, he Brett. was instrumental in the shaping of your mama's character. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still here for you in the form of PlayStations and buckets of chicken. You like that? That's them, the formula. Them, yeah, that's the formula. Sometimes you know you niggas need it. I'm just trying to get a return on my investment because you niggas is going <laughs> off to the league. And all of a sudden, your daddy's Any come of your back and shit. Any of your former stepkids ever went to the league? I see it in your eyes. You talk about it. What, what round? First? I spent so much time with that nigga. He went second, man, but I spent so much time with that dude. Working in, in the driveway. Mm. I ain't really go to the gym or nothing with him, but I play video game with him a lot, man. He knew me. <laughs> That's essential to build he, a character, that's essential. too. He knew. I, ta I taught him how to talk shit. He one of the best shit talkers in the league. You figure it out for yourself. Little tall, little head ass nigga. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know, nigga. That's why I felt yeah. this shit was, it was directed somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when your mama came through and your daddy went to jail, you know what I'm talking about? She didn't know where the money was at. She didn't know how to pay for it. I'm just saying, my nigga, humble thyself. Cynthia ain't a good but bitch, I know. <laughs> I'm saying these niggas, man, just be trying to, you know, I want to do better for the world. I be trying to help these young black men, you know what I'm saying? Stand for something or fall for anything. And you know, you can't fall on your purse, man, because you're still going to bust your ass, man. Stop doing that, you know? What are these niggas' mama? My mic fell. It's out. Damn. We gotta go anyway. I'm sorry, but I'm just I'm just having a good time. It's cool. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm at Lowe's, man. I'm just saying, all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Just think about that nigga in your life, man. You know what I'm saying? The unsung heroes. You know what I'm talking about? Eric. That dropped you off at practice and shit when your mama couldn't make it. <laughs> on his way to the hood. Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Ooh, Steve. Ooh. <clears throat> Steve disregarded his own kids to fuck with you. Gerald. Oh, man. Come on, man. Let's not talk about Gerald, man. It's too close to home, man. <laughs> 
Willie. Oh, Willie, man. Willie bought a whole motherfucking system, man. Video game system, everything, man, for both them little <coughs> niggas. You know what I'm saying? Never missed a birthday. Never missed a birthday because he didn't like the niggas to argue because the formula is you keep the kids happy because when I come over, nigga, it's cool. What you want here? Go ahead. Because I'm going to play with your mama. Charles. Oh, Charles. Charles, man, Charles paid for the mom. Charles paid for your mama Cardinal for like the first three years. He paid your mama Cardinal like the, the how you figured you got them braces, nigga? Charles. Melvin. Melvin? Oh man, Melvin. Melvin the nigga that got your mama that job. If it wasn't for Melvin, you wouldn't even, your mama wouldn't even be down there at the at the motherfucking uh firm. Glenn. Glenn? Oh, don't even talk about Glenn. Don't even talk about Glenn. Glenn was a solid nigga. Yeah, he drank a little bit too much. <laughs> but he stayed fucking with your mama, like, making sure you was right, nigga. Nigga, what, what? 12-year-old nigga had a Jordan up, 12s, 13s, 14s, all in rotation at once. Fred. Fred, oh man, Fred was so motherfucking nice. Fred went to church. Fred didn't even want to fuck your mama. He just wanted to just be nice to her. <laughs> Fred saw potential in your motherfucking ass, man. Fred thought it was good. Fred thought your motherfucking ass was going to be an accountant. Look at you, nigga, a crip. <laughs> William. William, now, William, man. Uh, William was right, nigga, man. William, he ain't even come around that often, but every time he came around, he come bearing gifts. And he never made your mama mad. It was always happy. He was a trucker. I think, you know what I'm saying, your mama was his Las Vegas stop. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? What about Harold? Harold, Harold. Now, Harold had a toxic thing going on because he was still with his, his wife, Glenda. But you know what I'm saying, Harold just he never, back and forth. he was back and forth, but you know, Harold, he, he didn't really fuck with you like that, but on the low, he gave your mama shit for you, you know what I'm saying, you, you talk shit, you know, he did choke you that one time, but you was acting like a little bitch, because your daddy ain't, nigga, daddy wasn't there, nigga, sometimes you need a little choking, my nigga. What about the nigga John? John, John was solid as a motherfucker, nigga. John, John worked down at the television station. John was good as a motherfucker. John came through with all kinds of perks. You went through the backlash and all kinds of shit. How you think your mama got that picture with Tina Turner? That was John. Oh, she, they saw so these niggas out here thinking they mom just had juice in the street without the help of these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> look, man, look, man, some of y'all niggas' mamas had nicknames and shit, bionic neck. Look at these niggas' phone what was numbers. Some of the nicknames they oh, had, shit, bro. bionic neck, creature feature, <laughs> double dribble, tube top. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, tantalizing tongue, titty top, all kinds of shit. Your mama had all kinds of names and shit. Mama named Straight Up Gertrude and shit. We call that bitch Lips. <laughs> Fuck you. I know your mama, nigga. <laughs> niggas know niggas' mamas, man. Niggas don't want to face it because niggas be like the 30-somethings now. And they like, yeah, you know, I get it. You a grown man, my nigga. You a grown man, my nigga, and I respect you because a lot of you niggas is leaders and innovators and shit. Nigga, calm down. Niggas know your mama, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, nigga might come through with a little bucket of chicken and talk about it because, you know what I'm saying, DNA wasn't really popular back then, so we might not really know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? DNA, are you willing to take a DNA test right now? Or your father, he too prideful. I'm just... I'm just saying, man. Niggas know niggas must. See, niggas don't like the hard truth. That nigga's thinking about it right now. He, wa he wondering why. That's why I was telling you, don't do it. It is too He many. wondering why Curtis been around since he was 15 and shit. He ain't never seen a picture of Curtis and his daddy together. Yeah, nigga. Curtis was the sponsor, nigga. Your daddy wasn't shit. His daddy and Curtis played ball though. Yeah, his daddy and Curtis, but Curtis was a better ball player. But he didn't, he didn't, Curtis didn't really brag about it. He didn't really brag about it, you know what I'm saying? Curtis was cool. He knew he was, he knew he knew your mama. 
So basically what you're saying is niggas know these niggas' mom. That's what I'm saying. Niggas know these niggas' mamas. And it's cool, though. And I'm just wanting to offer, just from an elder statesman point of view, man, like, nigga, some of you niggas is fraud, man. The niggas ain't calling you on it, man. You know, my life ain't perfect by no means. I'll be the first nigga to say that. So before you niggas, you yeah, nigga, nigga. You know, I'm just fucking with you, too. Get out your motherfucker. Pull your panties out your ass, nigga. That's your fucking problem now. This the 85 South Show. We fucking around. So before you get mad, Nigga, put some Vaseline between your cheeks and pull your shit out, nigga. <laughs> Relax. But some of you niggas need some motherfucking guidance because you're doing things all wrong. You're going to look back at the picture 20 years from now. And then what they going to think? Oh, man. You're going to wonder why, nigga. Why do my jeans look painted on? <laughs> but why do I on look the like Spider-Man? At least you'll know some niggas mama by then. Hey, nigga. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know... I, I saw a meme that said bitches was the new niggas, and that fucking disturbed me, dog. Don't. Niggas, it won't be knowing niggas knowing niggas' mamas. It's going to be niggas' mama knowing niggas. And it ain't this different, you know what I'm saying? Damn. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. I know a few niggas who mamas was, was kind of more niggerish than mamerish. Yeah. Sometimes you can't help it. Your mama just be in the streets like that. And that's because, and you know, some people and that, who and, got some gangster you know ass mama. And that sometimes, and that's a beautiful thing when you're a gangster ass mama and you're making it work for you. Because you, I can't bring you back. you too traumatic, bro. Because now you got but me thinking you, about that but time. But when you run the girl John pulled off, up on me. When you run John off, pregnant, you can't run don't even John worry off. About it. John is, I'm just, I'm just trying to say John and Calvin. She was pregnant and she said, don't even worry about it. I know who it is. I was like, oh. I just kind of had to just congratulate him. <laughs> Sometimes it be like that, but I just want to come full circle, man, and just offer a little guidance to some of these young niggas, man, because I love you niggas, man, and you're doing some great things, man, but, you know, stop doing some of this shit, man. Just Hey, man, I hope your stepson, whoever that went to the league, see this nah, and he reach got back out to you. Him and his mama got deported. <clears throat> I didn't go to court. Damn. I would have went to court, man, but I was on probation, man. I can't you can't be on probation going to court, so I feel you. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. But yeah. I, I go down there sometimes and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. His little village and shit. That's what I'm saying, nigga. You, you came through and you dropped a lot of knowledge. Sometimes you got to go down there to them third world countries and get you a bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? You get you a whole family for like $18 a year, man. That's <laughs> fucked up to even say, bro. Huh. But I know you. That's fucked up. A whole family, up, nigga. Man. I want a whole motherfucking family, nigga. I'm... My family, nigga, and my bitch and her kids is the best motherfucking family in the village, nigga. They got a computer, nigga. They own. Damn, sweet. You a cold nigga, bro. You got to go down there, man. I'm just saying. See, that's why I say, I say the craziest shit. If you fuck with me after that, nigga, we all right, man. I don't want to go to a third world country because last time I was, I was in one, I seen like five motherfuckers on one scooter. Mm. That's the, I, I, I don't know, I, I ain't never been in one. I don't want to see no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? The baby I'm, was standing up, like right. between the driver's Them motherfuckers legs. be raw. Now, that's real living right there. Motherfuckers over here pacified, that's real living. Them motherfuckers right. is but raw. But if you hit one rock, that goes your whole oh. fucking family. <laughs> one rock. Them motherfuckers be skillful, though, nigga. They be skillful as a motherfucker on that mm. little scooter riding fast as a motherfucker. Out selling, in the middle of nowhere. Selling all kinds of wares on the back of it. Just all types of shit. Whatever it is. Corn tamales, nigga, necklaces, everything. They got that shit, nigga, all ready. That shit. And it's self-sufficient. They don't need nobody, nigga. And that's beautiful when it's like that. That's real man shit. I ain't mad at that. I salute them, niggas. Five motherfuckers as a fucking family, nigga. They on the bike, nigga, till the wheels fall off. <coughs> and they working as a motherfucking unit. That's what some of us need to do. That's why some of you niggas' daddies need to come back home and work as a unit. We knew your mama was crazy, but she had dynamic neck. I'm Damn. trying to bring the motherfucking family back together and see if that neck is still in immaculate condition. Wow. That's the movie right there. Your mama old boyfriend show back up talking about that neck. <laughs> <laughs> she talking about I'm a teenage woman. Some hey for some women, man, it's a nigga that some nigga that got her number that's gonna make he got the key. <laughs> I'm not saying every nigga do it. Some nigga got the key. That's how the movie started off. Soon as the nigga get to Stacey Adams and do like this and put him on the floor. <laughs> All oh, that nigga old hoes show back up. Some nigga got the key. Well now that the kids is grown. <laughs> some nigga got the key. Your mama had a lot of lovers in her time, but only one had the key. 
You know what I'm saying? I remember my kid that would be funny as hell. A whole show about your mama. Y'all didn't grew up. Hey, it's some kids. Your mama at the house by herself. Then she go back and find the nigga that she kind of really kind of wanted to fuck with. It's some kids out here that 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 were born probably about 2002. That you know, I met your mom at a Scarface party, Scarface birthday party. Yep, and she went over. You, you saying a lot of shit. You I gonna have some of your kids now? They can find you. <laughs> I went over her house the next Scarface, day. Scarface, you said. Yeah, it was What's a Scarface party. I'm trying to bring it back together. Okay. It was a Scarface party in November, like 2000, I think. Your mom was fine in a little leather mini skirt. It was cold outside. I don't know how she just made it out with that leather mini skirt like that, but she just looked immaculate. You know what I'm saying? Man. The goosebumps and chill bumps were so befitting of her because she, she didn't have no coat. I, I hate that. I hate that you put this shit on my mind because now you're gonna have me sitting there wondering. What happened to all the old hoes? That's I mean, it go a bunch of ways, because I want the women to understand, even though as you get older, I want the women to understand that as men, we still respect you because, you know, I might be, who you used to I be. might be vulgar in what I say. No, you still that, baby. I want you still to be the beautiful flower, the bad bitch you used to be. You just wiser and better now. You know what I'm talking about? You know a whole lot of more tricks now. Your neck probably swiveling 20 different degrees. Wow. You know? So not only are you saying, Fuck it, I can't even do it. Hey man, we gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm just saying, you man. you doing you. I'm just saying, man. Your mama got feelings too. You know, every Christmas and shit, you come over with your girlfriend and shit. Come over with your boyfriend and she's just by herself. All you come over there, you and your brothers and sisters and your little girlfriends come over there and she just over there by herself. You know what I'm talking about? She sad. She lonely. But she not. She really waiting on y'all to leave. So Mr. Charles could come through there <laughs> with the Stacey Adams on. Hey, with that being said, go ahead, man. Drop them bitches off. Slink, where they can find you at, bro? They can find me on Cash App at Dollar Sign Slink Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> they can find me on Venmo at Slink Johnson. They can find me at Zell, the Normandy Beast, at Yahoo.com. <laughs> They can find me on all your social networks at Slink Johnson at G. Um, excuse me, at Slink Johnson on all your social networks. Goddamn it, SlinkJohnson.com. Look out for my movie with Daphne Springs. Uh, why, why she keep scratching? Keep scratching? Why oh. she keep scratching? Oh. Why she keep scratching? Yeah, man, check out a lot. Check out a couple movies coming out. Dirty Cops, L.A. Uh, Goddamn it. Uh, Kings of L.A. That's coming out. I got a couple TV shows I'm working on right now. I was really talking shit right now, man. You turned me into somebody else with my Stacey's. I thought I was cool as fuck, nigga. No, nah, you But you, you turned me into somebody else. I am gangster, though. I did fuck some niggas' mamas, but I want niggas just relax and be cool. When you see me on the couch, you know what I'm talking about? A little chill, nigga. It's a box of pizza on the table. You know what I'm saying? Just relax. You know what I'm saying? It's chill, you know? Your mom in there, she in that shower. You know, I stop by there and bed just by man, beyond. You come home and see this nigga laid up on your mom's couch. And you, and you smell a little weed in the air. I pissed you off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little weed, a little chicken, you know what I'm saying? In the it's, fucked up part is she don't let nobody lay on the couch like this. You ain't seen your mama smile in a minute, nigga. <laughs> she ain't smile like that in a minute, nigga. And they come through, you smell a little Dracar in the air. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We got to get the fuck out of here. This is the 85 South Show. This is my nigga Swing Johnson, man. We out this bitch. Smoke yours, nigga. I'm so fucking hot, Carlos. Thank you, man. I got where I put that little yank. You put in my it in pocket. your pocket, oh, crazy. Yeah, I'm going to smoke that motherfucker tomorrow. Yeah, you got nigga. it. You think I'm playing, man. Thank you. I, hey, look, I was so high, man. I'm in and out. Hey, I man. know y'all looked at me a couple times. What's wrong with this nigga? This shit right here. Carlos gave some of this voodoo weed right there, some of this motherfucking, this New Orleans weed. That's some of that shit. I think I tasted gunpowder. Is this that shit? Hey, Los, man, I was high as motherfuckers. You good, nigga. That shit was amazing.